Takuombea maisha marefu uishi kamwe kama mlima Kenya Sikilizigambe Naomba tumkaribishe gavana wetu kwa makofi mazuri mabibi na mabwana Wapi shango na vigelegele ya gavana wetu Asanteni sana wanafunzi wetu. Sigili, sigili, sigambe, sigili, gavana wetu. Asante. Nitaomba sote tutasimama ili tuweze kufungua kwa wimbo wa taifa na wimbo wa jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki. Naomba sote tutasimama tutapata wimbo wa taifa na wimbo wa jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki. Kisha tutapata maombi kutoka kwa mchungaji ambaye yuko kama kuna mchungaji Kiwa tumesalia tukisimama, ninaomba tuinamishe njiso zetu, tuweze kuomba. E, baba mungu mwenyezi, wambaya umetujalia afya na uhai siku ya leo, tunakupa shukrani na sifa zote. Asanti buwana kwa ajili ya siku hii ya leo, wambaya umetujalia, tuweze kusherekea siku ya maji duniani. Asanti kwa mgeni wetu wa Heshman, gavana wetu, pamoja na viongozi wote ambao wameandamana nao. Na kila mtu ambaye alia hapa, tunaomba baraka zako, tunapuanza hadi utakapofika tamati. Kwa hayo, tunaomba tukiamini katika jina la mwenyezi mungu wa santi. Amen. Naomba tuketi. Mweshmiwa governor wa Laikipia, His Excellency Joshua Irongo EGH. Vile vile tunaye katibu wa Conservation Wildlife, Daktari John Chuma. Mwakilishi wa wodi hii ya Segera, Mweshimiwa Salim Edong. Mwenye kiti wa kamati ya maji katika bunge letu la Laikipia, Mweshimiwa Leila. Waziri wetu wa maji na mazingira, Mweshimiwa Lea Njeri. Viongozi, wenye kiti wa rua ambao wako hapa na viongozi wengine wa kamati. Mweshimiwa Gavana kwa kipindi hiki kifupi, naomba kwa rusa yako tutapata matumbuizo kwa kifupi sana kuna wanafunzi kutoka naibo primary ambao wamejianda na vile vile naibo secondary kwa rusa na heshima yako ninaomba naibo primary tuje tufanya presentation yetu alafu tutafuatiwa na naibo secondary shule ya msingi ya naibo uwanja ni wenu naomba tuwakaribishe kwa makofi mazuri wakija karibuni sana wanafunzi
our honorable governor, guests, teachers, parents, and my fellow learners. In front of you is Shilo JSS, ready to present you with a poem. Entitle. 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 So sit back, relax, and enjoy with us. Welcome. Water, water everywhere. There is no water anywhere. So acid and water. Water is used for cooking, washing, and drinking. Water has cool. No, it's water. Save water, save water. Save, save, save. Thank you. kufuata ni vijana wako na shairi kuhusu maji Waheshimiwa walimu wazazi na wanafunzi wenzangu mbele yenu ni shule ya sekondari msingi tayari kwa kadiria shairi lenye mada Lenye mada. Shukran. Hodi hodi wanjani. Malenga ni naingia. Sikilize ni kwa makini. Ujumbe na waletea. Fikirini ya kilini. Mazuri kuyachukua. Uhai wetu ni maji. Maji ni amani. Maji ya leta vita. Pindi ya kose kanapo. Maji ya vita kuta. Mazirani zinda napo. Urafiki kukata tena. Tena suu. Uwetu ni maji. Maji ni amani. Uhai wetu ni maji. Tena wetu mtaji. Tumshukuru mpaji. Kwa kutuidhi maitaji. Maji ya ngarisha miji, vijiji, hadi majiji. Uhai wetu ni maji, maji ni amani. Shukla. Makofi masuri. Kikundi kingine shina kukuja ni wakona wimbo. The guests of honor, teachers, parents, and my fellow pupils in front of you are Shilo Naibo JSS, ready to, ready to present to you with a song entitled, 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 water, water. sit back, relax, and enjoy. Welcome. Water, water everywhere. Let us all take a vote to save water somehow. Let us all take a vote to save water somehow. Thank you. Thank you very much. We have another group, the final one. We agree? Your Honor the Governor, in front of you is ready to present entitle entitle so relax and enjoy.
Asante. Naomba tuwapigie wanafunzi hawa makofi mazuri. Wanaofuata sasa mgeni wetu wa Heshma ni wanafunzi kutoka shule ya upili ya Naibor Secondary. Karibuni sana wanafunzi kutoka Naibor Secondary. Naomba tuwakaribisha na makofi mazuri uh, pia. Karibuni sana. Nitaomba wanafunzi tutaongeza kasi kidogo. Asante. So, sisi tukiwa hapa, sisi ni jamii mbili ambayo tuko na wakulima ambayo na uh, wale wa wafugaji wa ngombe. Sasa wakulima wa mimea wanataka maji na wafugaji wa mifugo wanataka maji ya mifugo. Lakini wanangangania maji. Nigependa serikali ingilie kati ili tujue tutatoa api maji ya kutosha katika mimea yetu na mifugo yetu. Instead ya kubishana jukusu maji, tuta provide buahol kwa nini community yote mbili. Tupe amani, kwana tupe amani, tupe amani, kwana tupe amani, tupe amani, kwana tupe amani, tupe amani, mani tupe. In front of you is Neighbor Mix Secondary School, ready to present you with a poem entitled Entitled Water for Peace. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Don't forget to put a banana smile. Welcome. Hawa jamani wanaitaji makofi mazuri zaidi ya hayo. Asante sana. 
Na Your Excellency wakati walisema tupeane banana smile kweli walikuwa wameona smile yako. Hiyo ndiyo banana smile Your Excellency. Hawa wengine walijaribu lakini wakapata an orange smile, wengine wakapata an apple smile, lakini leo ni siku ya furaha. Asante sana. Your Excellency tumefika mwisho wa matumbuizo yetu. Ninaomba tu tuweze kuingia kwa kifindi, uh, kipindi kifupi sana cha mazungumzo na pia kabla tuingie pale Your Excellency napenda kukujulisha pia tuko na wafadhili wetu waku Water Resources Authority na wamewakilishwa na bwana uh, Muthinja ambaye ni sub basin area coordinator ambaye yuko na sisi vile vile pia kutoka kwa ofisi ya mbunge wa Laikipia North tuko na constituency manager ambaye yuko na sisi Your Excellency kwa rusa yako naomba ni mkaribishe bwana James Mugambi ambaye ni CEO wa Laikipia County Development Authority aje ku share na sisi the launch of Tuaweza East Africa Report on Water. Karibu bwana Mugambi. Tumkaribisha kwa makofi mazuri. Asante. Mheshimiwa gavana wetu, Your Excellency Joshua Irongo, PGH, Waziri wa Maji, uh, Water and Environment, Natural Resources and Climate Change, Madam uh, Waziri Lea, the Area MCA, na wageni walioko hapa, partners wetu na wageni wengine na participants wote habari zenu Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati Your Excellency I'm honored uh, to be given this opportunity to introduce a partner called Tuaweza because what has happened is that this partner has conducted a survey or a research nationwide and is, was able to consider like Kipia County as a county to launch this report before I come there, Your Excellency, my office, like Kipia County Development Authority, while we are here, you give us an opportunity to make sure that like Kipia County brings on board like-minded partners to support your development agenda. Your Excellency, and why I'm taking this uh, official way of introducing Toesa, Toesa has not been like Kipia. The first time Toesa landed in like Kipia is when you had partners forum that was trying to lobby for access to water tanks for women empowerment. Where we got to is that we happened to get to the Volition Conference and we, 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 we happened to see what they were doing. That was in Eldoret. And we were able to be happy for what they are doing, not only in Kenya, but also in East Africa. It's a research-based organization, but also development-oriented. And I think we were able to lobby and we were able to thank you for welcoming them when you are hosting partners to support development agenda to access water. So I'm humbled to introduce them because from that time, like Kipia was not on the map. Through your support, we were able to convince Tawaza East Africa, and it is represented by the country lead, uh, Mr. James, James here. And from that day, because the, the, the survey was ongoing, they immediately put like Kipia on the map and they started conducting, they kind of included them in the report. You remember when we, we kind of, uh, kind of uh, consulted together. So I take the oppor this opportunity to welcome them to present a survey that has been conducted countrywide on water access and other indicators in terms of water access. And maybe it's going to kind of uh, scale down to like Kipia and make some recommendations. He has even done a kind of a satisfaction survey since when you joined this government. They have made several calls. They have even met a number of people to do that survey. And that survey is kind of to practically it is going to lead to kind of at national level, it is going to inform on how partners are going to engage on water development agenda. And I'm happy because through your able CEC, we have been able to, to discuss about it. And thank you, Waziri, for welcoming them. So through your, uh, through your permission, Your Excellency, allow me to welcome uh, James, the country lead from Tawaza, East Africa, to present the findings to this team. And, and later on, we are going to officially uh, hand over the report to you. And mark you, Your Excellency, this is a national report. So they have chosen like Kipia to launch this report. So I think we need to give them a hearty clap as they come kindly. James Kalibusan. Uh, Bona Governor, uh, CS Water Environment, our area MCA. Uh, sisi toweza to shukuru sana. Kwa makaribisha ambao mweza kutupatia hapa uh, like Kipia. Uh, tulikuwa tunaongea na bwana Mugambi 
akatuambia uh, mambo ya wota mkiweza kufanya Nairobi na boardroom I think it won't make any sense. We would be happy ama it would be more practical tuweze kwenda pahali ambapo the findings zinatakikana. So through that conversation he made us see the sense and he found it useful for us to come here tuweze kuchangamana na wananchi because we normally collect reports ama data without knowing the implications and presenting the findings here makes a lot of sense. So kabla sijapoteza wakati allow me to get into the findings at least to introduce today being uh, March 22 marking uh, World Water Day. So we as to uh, during the month of February and January hapo mwisho tulienda uh, Kenya yote through sampling we sampled 3600 respondent across the country and mostly we had a boost a sample uh, in a few counties where we have interest one of them being uh, like Kipia uh, Ergeo Marakwet na Vihiga na pia Nairobi at least to understand what the government or how citizens perceive uh, water services uh, and the way they receive the services from the government so it's based on this that we decided to conduct this survey and the findings are here uh, as I'm going to present them. So there are four things, atakama utaenda, there are four things that you need to understand, ama to know. We have five insights. The first insight, ni watu wangapi ambao wanapokea maji uh, uh, pipe to water. Jambo la pili, uh, kati ya wale ambao wanapokea maji, wanatumia mudagani kuweza kupokea maji. And nikiweza kuongea hapa, I'll be able to give uh, statistics za Laikipia and then compare with them at the national level. The third insight uh, talks about uh, kati ya wale watu ambao hapati maji masafi, ni nini ambacho wanafanya hili maji yao mazuri ama ma, ma, ya kuweza ku, ku, uh, weza kutumia nyumbani. Insight number four, uh, based on the experiences in terms of the first services they received from the county government, given that uh, maji it's one of devout function, J, wana, ona kuna mambo imeweza kuboreka kati ka vile wana, wanapata uh, services za maji, tutaweza kusikia. Na jambo la mwisho, we are going to look at the access to improved sanitary facility, ama latrines and such kind of things. So, to start off, uh, we found some quite interesting results. Uh, in the books, count, the county of Laikipia is considered as a county where uh, we have scarcity in terms of water. But the findings were really showing differently. And nataka kupatia hongera bwana governor kwa kazi mzuri ambayo meweza kufanya. Because 55% of the household where we interviewed, tulipata kwamba wanamaji either katika nyumbani ama hapo nje. Na the reason why ni mesema bwana governor na serikali iweza kumefanya kazi mzuri because the national levels are at 41% based on the survey ambayo tuliweza kukonduct. So 55 na 41, unaona hiyo ni mambo tofauti kabisa. A clear indication, even though we have challenges with water, uh, the county of Laikipia seems to be doing quite well relative to other counties. Now, tuweza kuona kwamba, although 55% wanapata maji ya tap, we also have another big proportion ambao wanapata maji kwa njia nyingine ambayo ni safi. Maybe they have access to borehole and that stands at 23%. So when we combine the two as in clean sources of water, we found that Laikipia has around, 70, uh, around 78% of the household ambazo zinapata maji mazuri ambayo ni masafi ya kuweza kunywa compared to the national statistics that stands at 69%. Tuliweza kufanya heavy because we normally compare our findings with other findings. We went back to the DHS report. I believe all of us understand what DHS report is. At the national level, it's at 69%. And during that year when the DHS report uh, data was co uh, collected, I think it was in 2021, like Kipia was at around 70%. But from the findings that we have, it's already 
In a span of two years, things seems to have changed positively to 78%, an 8% increase uh, since uh, 2021. Something else that we need also to understand, yes, we have a big portion who have access to clean water. Lakini, we have a around 22% uh, ama nyumba mbili kati ya nyumba kumi ambazo zinapokea maji ambayo ni ya river, chemi chemi na mambo kama hayo. And these are some of the key areas that the governor can help address in terms of solving these challenges. So what should we do? Because we have 15% uh, who uh, get their water from the surface and 17% ambao wanapata sehemu ambazo ni zingine. So it's a big challenge to the governor. And we are so happy because there's a lot of improvement, but I think more need to be improved. Now, in terms of the time spent to go and collect water, we've also found some results that are quite, quite interesting. Because we found that at national level, eight out of 10 of the household spent 30 minutes. Wenda kuchota maji, kungoja, alafu kukweza kurudi. On average, those who spend at least uh, around uh, at most 30 minutes uh, at national level is at 82% based on our findings. Now, Laikipia is at 92%. So when you compare the two statistics, comparing Laikipia and the national average, you find Laikipia almost doing quite well com compared to other counties. And being that it's a rural county, we found it's doing far, far much better than other rural counties, almost at par with uh, urban counties. Uh, in addition, we also found that uh, the national average yeah, time which is spent when the Kutafta Maji, uh, like Ipia, in 14 minutes on average, when the Kuchukua Maji na Kurudi, compared to the national average, yeah, 23 minutes. And rural areas where like Ipia is classified is at 20, uh, in a, what 27 minutes. Nairobi is quite leading, especially in these indicators. Maji hapo ni mengi because the figures or the time spent is eight minutes. So comparing eight Nairobi, na like Ipia 14 minutes is a very small difference. And given the challenges that we face here, the county government and the national government has done a commendable job to make water accessible. Now, among those people who don't have access to clean water, what do they do? And these are some of the challenges that we need to address. Because we found that in Laikipia, Nusuya household, ambao hawabati maji mazuri ya kunywa, ndiyo tu ambao wanachemusha. What does that one mean, uh, indicate, or tell us? Because this is slightly lower compared to what's happening at the national level. Kwa sababu, watu wale ambao wana wanaweka maji yewe mazuri kwanjia kuchemisha ama kuweka chlorine is at, seven, uh, at 57%. A difference of around uh, 10%, uh, no, 6%. Sasa, what we had to dig deeper to understand what could be the reason. Na hii ndiyo watu walisema. Na hii ni jambo niliona jana. Wakati ulipo kwa hoteli, tulikuwa watu fulani tulikuwa tunakula chakula. Maji tukawekewa, uh, kasema, ah, maji ya nanyuki, uwana ya trust, najua kuma maji ni mazuri. So one of the reasons, clearly, why people do not treat water that they receive either kwa tapa from other sources, they trust the process, the cleaning process. Although it's not the best way, but one thing, it's like an assurance of the, uh, the kazile mbao inafanyiwa na, uh, na department ya maji, ni kanzi nzuri kwa sababu, pengine atujasikia mambo ya maradhi na mambo kama hayo. Although, we need to be cautious to educate people to make sure that whatever all the water that they are using uh, is of high quality, and if it's not of high quality, they should either watumie kuchemisha maji ama weke chlorine na mambo mengine to make the water safe. Insight number four, ni mebakisha mbili peke yake. Most like EPA residents say that the access to drinking water has improved in the past year since uh, uh, when we collected some data sometimes back. So what we did to do, Wauliza, in the past 12 months, Mumeza Kupata Mabadiliko Mazuri, and these are the findings. We found that four out of 10 of the household wanasema kwamba mambo ime improve. Yes, it appears quite good because when you compare na watuale wanasema kwamba things have, mambo imekuwa mabaya sana, 
it stands at 20%. And then you have another 41%, ama 40%, ambao anasema maji ni mambo tu ni vile ilivyokuwa. So in total we found that 80% are wanasema kwamba mambo either ya vile ilivyokuwa ama imeendelea compared to 20% ambao wamesema mambo imeweza kuharibika. No, the statistics are almost the same at the national level because among uh, in Kenya on average 37% of the citizens are uh, claiming or uh, they say or they perceive that things have improved and 40% are think that things haven't improved there the way they were before. Now we had also to dig deeper, at least to understand the contribution of the water department and the county at large. And we found that at national level, uh, from diff or the, on average, 33% of the citizens wanna say their county government have done a lot to improve Mambo ya Kusambaza Maji, compared to Laikipia, which is at 41%. So that's a big, almost 10% difference on the positive side in terms of satisfaction yeah, uh, and in support of what the county is doing. So in total, tunaona kwamba, in terms of service provision, Laikipia is one of the county whereby citizen has a, have a positive uh, view in terms of the way the county is providing services. Chamwisho ni hivi, ama the last point or the, the last input, which is number five, eight out of 10 of the household in Laikipia use improved latrine facilities. That's something good. And when we, ha we, uh, we looked at the data further, to Likuta Kwamba, 21% of the household zip co connected Nasiwa or they have a septic, septic tank. And then we have the 62% Ambao, they are served by something that is far much better like Munaosha, uh, there is a slab and such kind of thing. Now, at the national level, the statistics are almost the same because those who use flush or septic tanks stands at 22, compared now to Laikipi at 21. And then those who have improved uh, latrine facilities is at 74. But all in all, we find that Laikipi is not lagging behind. In fact, in some indicators, we are doing quite well. So in a nutshell, our in conclusion, the following uh, are the sum of the challenges that were pointed out. Now, the, the biggest two challenges uh, faced by, the, by citizens in accessing clean drinking water, number one, irregular supply. Yes, we have some household ambazos eco connected kwa, kwa mfereji. Lakini, they normally receive water maybe twice or once or twice in a week. So that's something that the county government and the entire government should consider in terms of increasing the frequency such that and yet we claim kwamba we are connected to the main source of, of water. Point number two, we found that the distance to water point, especially to those people who access water uh, from such a place, we found that wanasema kwamba ni mbali sana. So what does that one tell us? Sisi wa research organization wafadhili wengine, we need to ensure to fund or to help the governor at least to increase the number of water access point because a big proportion or this issue came as number two, Kwamba they wanainchi would want to have more water points. Jambo la tatu, wanasema the water is dirty. Yes, we have water, lakini kuna shida ya maji. And probably this is one of the challenge we, we thought could now force us or push us to push wanainchi kwa wanasafisha maji. Jambo lingine, there is insufficient number of water point, distance to me, ona tuwaze kualetea karibu, the number is uh, quite low, we need to address that issue. Then the other issue, and is also something that is affecting the community, drying up of the water sources. Now, like keep your service as a good example, we have the pastoralist and farmers. Given that it's a transition between the agriculture rich uh, highlands in Kenya and the arid areas, a lot need to be done so that we can manage the crisis that we might face very soon if we are unable to manage the situation. And that's why we, uh, it was pointed out that even the boreholes that we have at, um, at, at uh, uh, the rivers that we have, they are drying up. And one of the reasons in Mambo is irrigation, probably we are not able to manage our resources in the right way. 
and it's a high time for all of us to join hands so that we can be able to manage uh, this crisis. Lastly, the last challenge that was uh, mentioned by Wanainchi ni kwamba beya maji iko juu sana. So that's something that the county need to address and that's for the entire government such that we can lower the fee, such that connection fee na mambo kama hayo, if that can be addressed, I think we can have the number moving from 55 to something like 75%. Now, one of the questions that we need also to ask ourselves, are there other counties in the region, especially in the Asa region, that are doing well? We need to have other peers, other counties that are doing well. Counties like Isiolo, when you look at even the DHS report, they seem to be doing well in terms of water provision. Garissa, of which we were not expecting, they're also doing something good. So I think it's important to invite such counties of people who work there. We sit down, we get to understand what are they doing to ensure wananchi wanapata maji. And by doing this, we are going to make sure that indicators in terms of the SDG, which is focusing on water, has improved. And I believe very soon, we'll find other counties flocking to the Kipia to get to learn how we are managing our scarce resource that is water. And I believe by doing that, given the two communities that exist in this, in this county, we'll be able to live in a peace and harmonious en environment. Mungu waeza kuwabariki. Tumpigia makofi mzuri tafadhali. Tumpigia hile mesoma sidiyo. Tumweke makofi juu. Tumweke maua mwa. Agusia ni mwaja. Asante. James, naomba tafadhali ukalipie. Your Excellency, this is the report that Tuaweza has published. And as you've heard, they chose like if Pia to launch this report. And the good thing that is that they have really scaled down to explain the real intervention and the processes that they took as they were trying to do the, the, the survey itself. Kwa hivyo, Your Excellency, na kuomba tafadhali, eh, the Tuaweza would be glad to hand over the report to you, accompanied by the CC Water, so that you, you can hand over it officially. And I'm sure this report will really be used as a reference while we are programming, making decisions, because we have to use scientifically proven data. So, Naomba, Tawesa Wakipatia Governor report to Piga Makofi, to Piga Makofi, to Piga Makofi, to Piga Makofi, to Piga Makofi. Asante Nisana, thank you, Tawesa, Kwakazire Munafanya, Natuna Kukaribisha Sana, Kusaidia Mwishmion Governor, Kueza Kuwa Chief the results. Asante sana. We are not going to comment on that, and I'm sure when His Excellency will be giving uh, his speech, he will be able to comment on what has been presented. Asante ni sana. Asante. Asante. Bwana Mugambi, pamoja na tuaweza team. Nimeambiwa mumeongea kizungu sana. Lakini sasa naomba sasa tuta switch gear kidogo, ili pia wale wanainchi ambao wako hapa wataweza kufuata yale mazungumza tukonae. Kwa sasa, Your Excellency, ninaomba kumualika uh, mwakilishi wa Rua Zananyuki, mweshimi wa Saya, ambaye pia ni mwenye kiti, ili yaweze kuzungumza kwa kichache, na pia kuatambulisha wale wenye kitu wengine ambao wako hapa. Tumkaribisha mweshimi wa Saya kwa makofi mazuri. Karibu sa. Asante. Mweshimi wa Gavana, Director Sikumbuki Conservation, siku wa nimejua hiyo, Natambua pia CCs, MCAs wetu, chairmans, na viongozi wengine wote. Wanafunzi wetu na jamii ya naibu wa mjambo wote. <coughs> Kwa majina mimi ni naitua Saya Tema, na mimi ndiyo chairman wa nanyuki cashment, ni ndiyo nizuseme river, sheria ilibadilika kidogo. Sikuizi, WRE naangalia cashment, siyo river. So kuna bohol, kuna mto, na kuna dams. So sheria ilibadika kidogo. So mkitukiwa hapa musione kama tukona nyuki river peke yake. So nitachukua na fasi hii. Kwa tambulisha wenzangu, mkuja tu mbele. Wale watimao, kuna sirimon, kuna liki, kuna pia mzee wa kutoka huko chini, rongai, ambayo haingi na nyuki river hiyo, lakini ni chairman. Ujeni mbele tu. Hawa ndiyo wakilishi wa community, wa salimie alafu tuseme tu, sisi ndiyo wakilishi wenu, labda huwa tunafanya kazi mbaya ama mzuri, lakini sisi ndiyo tunawakilisha kisheria. 
ama serikali iliona kuna haja ya kuwa hiyo kitu inaitwa ruas ambayo ni communities. Kwa hiyo karibu chairman wa Timao. Mheshimiwa gavana wetu. Hudhuria hapla hii pia natambua kila itifaki. Jina yangu naitwa Julius Mbiti mwenyekiti wa hii ya mashauri ya watu wa maji bonde la Timau ambalo linatoka huko Mlimani juu likija likishikana na hiyo mito mingine nisingetaka kuongea sana kwa sababu yangu ni kujulisha mheshimiwa governor jina langu asante sana huyo anafupisha kwa sababu wamemaliza maji maji ya Timau haifiki hapa siku hizi kuna huyo mzee wa nguzishi Hawa ndio wa, eh sijui kama ndio wanazuia maji sijui lakini hawa ndio wameshikilia juu Asante His Excellency the Governor viongozi wa Rioko na wananchi ya Mjamboni Majina ni Mweti Geshoro Chairman Kuzishi Rua eh, kwenye ambapo tumetoka hatujamaliza maji maji na join the conference but saa zingine kiangazi inaturemea kama vile iko kila mahali tunangangana tuhesabia katika gozishi wale watu ambao wako katika gozishi catchment wote wa na maji ya kunywa asante kuna huyo mwingine wa kuna Simon ah tuna Simon oh mzee wa chini Ongea bwana ujulikane huko. Hawa waingii na Nyuki River lakini ni water de ayusu na Nyuki ni ile tu tuko catchment ya hapa. Hii ni ya Kenya mzima na county mzima. Thank you. Mheshimiwa governor George Irogo IGH ah uh, madam Lea ambaye anasimamia maji. Wa wa Segera Ward wa bwana Salma Edong na furahi kuwa siku hii ya maji. Kwa majina naitwa Isaac Dirago Doita AK Mangangi. Mimi ni mmoja wa wale waasilishi wa zile ruwa za Rugai na Bagulit. Mimi nimewakilisha Rugai kwa wakati huu kwa sababu chiamani wetu anatoka juu pahali mto unatoka wa Rugai. Wale wanajua Galaliga historia kidogo. Marura is 20 kilometers west of Nanyuki town and uh, politically it is in Laikipia north and administratively Laikipia central tuko hivyo kwa hivyo tukiomba bwana governor nimefurahi kuonana na wewe watu wako wa marua wako na shida huko na secondary juzi uh, chaga sana tulijegewa na mheshimiwa sara lekolele ambaye kwa wakati huu hakuna maji na primary hakuna maji hiyo mto yote huko juu wamefuga wame obstruct maji na nasikiaka huko sheria sheria ya maji ya 2016 uh, inasema usi obstruct uh, ma, 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 maji kwa mto bila bila uh, bila leseni kwa hivyo tungependa something to be done kwa sababu tuko na na proposal tulileta director kengori anajua tulileta ofisi ni hata hata engineer mori anajua tunataka kujenga vitu vinaitwa water checks about uh, from the stream uh, uh, tukieleka ili wakati kama huu mto umekauka kuwe kuna kuna fukuliwa maji hizo water checks kwa wakati huu tumeanza lakini hatuna pesa ya, ya kuzifanya tunafanya na magunia lakini tukependa kwa sababu we ni mtu ambaye Uh, unajuana na wafadhili watusaidie hiyo mtu kwa sababu ndio inaunganisha maji uh, maji hiyo inaenda inashikania marura uh, orogai na, na bagule ndio inafeed hii garengiro uh, river kwa hivyo tukependa tuangalilio hapa na na kufanywa dhara dhara pa ofisi ya maji wanatusaidia kwa kwa, kwa karibu tukependa wakati huu wa patrol hiyo mto kwa sababu sasa iko katika pathetic condition wengine wana wana block the whole river uh, wanaelekesha maji kwa mashamba yao na hiyo ni mambo tu, tu, uh, tumeripoti tena huko kwa WRA kwa hivyo hiyo ni mambo serious kwa sababu watoto wakichikwa watoto wagawa na kichikwa na kwa kwa sababu hakuna maji itakuwa ni aibu sana na kwa sababu wewe najua ni mtu ya ya kukonserve mito, mito tukependa hiyo mambo iwe iwe serious hiyo water check ambaye utatafutia wafadhili wa, wa, watusaidie sitaongea mengi kwa sababu siku sio yangu lakini nimefurahi 
na watu wa Marura wanajiandikisha kwa ile matagi ulisema ulisema utaki broker katikati eh, CDA wako anatuendesha vizuri na tunataraji matagi tutapata hivi karibuni asante sana waheshimiwa asante sana bwana mangani <coughs> ah, ah, kuna chairman mwingine hako lakini nieleze tu kidogo rua ni nini rua ni a legal community created by the government to ease access ama hiyo conversation between the government departments na jamii kama CFA wale ambao wanatoka misitu mnajua CFA wale wanatoka northern Kenya mnajua community land management committees so hizo legal communities ambayo government inajaribu kutumia kufikia wananchi mara nyingi labda sinafanya kazi nzuri mara nyingi labda ifanyi kazi nzuri mimi nitasema point nne ile sisi na nashukuru sana wenzetu ambao wamefanya research water sanitation and hygiene in Laikipia county hii itatusaidia pia sisi kama hii watu wa ecashment kwa sababu bila research ama bila kuchunguza kitu inakuwa ni ngumu kutatua na kwa kweli sisi wa Afrika tumekuwa na hiyo shida tunafanyishwa research ama tunafanya research sisi wenyewe na haua tutumi kwa hiyo na si tu mheshimiwa gavana another government department tafadhali msaidie mpaka ule mtu wa chini aweze kuelewa isafe kwa sababu it's a very important thing na inatusaidia hata kupanga vitu zingine hata pale nyumbani sisi tumeona kama conflict tuko na shida nne conflict ufisadi tuko na kitu inaitwa climate change ambayo sio ya nyuki river hiyo ni ya dunia na ya nyuki area catchment ni kitu mangangi ametaja inaitwa compliance compliance ni kujaribu ujulikane kama uko na borehole uko na dam ama una abstract maji pale kwa mto tafadhali wenzangu mnafaa kujulikana mnajua wakulima wa mukema na naibo tulikuwa na nyinyi juzi na tumeweka mkutano tarehe 26 and nataka kuchukua fursa hii ni invite other government departments like go county government no obvious WRA walikuwa huko kwa sababu rua ifanyi bila WRA kujeni tuongee tuone vile mtakuwa regular mtajulikana first of all you are registered as a group or individuals alafu kutoka hapo tuongee vile mtakuwa mkiachilia maji ama mkitumia kwa sababu hatuwezi sema ile nyanya ikauke ama mahindi ikauke na bado tunataka chakula tunajua kuna conflict sana kwa water use and it can only be resolved kama watu wanaongea it can not be resolved kama watu wanatumia mamlaka saa hii kama na nyuki river catchment ama hii regional catchment atufanyi sisi kuchukua mashini ya mtu kwa saa hii kwa nini mashini ndogo ndogo ni za maskini ama watu wa chini mashini kubwa kubwa inatoshana hivi ni ya matajiri na huwa hiyo inahitaji crane inue na hii mto iko na hiyo mashini kubwa kubwa na sisi hatuna hata nguvu hiyo so acha tuongee tukutanishe na tumalize class war kwa matumizi ya maji na vile vile tuweze kusuluhisha maneno ya kusema hapa ni Laikipia pale juu ni Meru pale ni Nyeri kwa sababu maji inatoka juu inaenda chini kila mmoja kuna mtu wako juu yako Mnajua hivyo kuhusu maji. Watu wanaibo wakisema hawataachilia maji endo jogi, kumbuka watu wana nyuki wako juu yako. Wakisema hivyo tena watena watu wa wa ukule juu project wako juu yenu. Kwa hiyo ni masungumzo ndio itafanya maji. Na ufisadi hii haina dawa. Mimi nilikuwa nimesema juzi na nitasema tena tumeandika barua kwa anti corruption. Wakuja kwa sababu kuna shida kwa water systems. Mtu analima nyanya kwa kuhonga mimi tema kama chairman. Hiyo haifai. Nenda ukachukue license ama kuja ingia ndani ya group tukusaidie you do the right thing because hatutaendeleza zile njia za kitambo za kuja kuhonga honga ruas na ofisi zingine za serikali ndio uweze kutumia maji. You can be legalized because you are a legal citizen na maji ni ya kila mtu kusema climate change ya tutaweza lakini nitaongea kwa governor sasa asikie kwamba siku moja tulikuwa tunafanya na governor kazi na nilimwandikia barua ambaye haikumfikia 
maneno ya megadam hiyo ndio solution ya climate change problem hii kubwa hapa governor anaweza sema kitu kuhusu megadam kuna wafadhili wengi wanaweza wakafadhili megadam governor najua you have all the experts around you maybe we need to try something uko juu kwa mlima mimi kama saya na mu interested mimi nimekuwa na interested na maji kwa muda mrefu kama ile ya chumvi na wapi tumekuwa tukifanya maji kama unaweza uka donate shamba kule kunaitwaje huko kwenye county huko naon ile nature conservancy you can donate 5000 acres ndio ukue compensated you grow a new forest ama forest department Kenya forest service wafanya forest huko tupate enough space for just maybe a thousand acres na ita solve water problems za kuangalia hizi mito za hivi maybe that's a very expensive affair i know one two things you know ten waki watu wakiungana hiyo itawezekana short term nini inahitajika kusuluhisha maji hawa kulima wetu hapa chini subservice dams hizo tukifanya subservice dams tukimalizia mheshimiwa e, nikimalizia niko tu ninaenda kumalizia hapa tukifunga subservice dams nne tu watu watapata maji na maji 30% ita flow tukifunga tu mahali kidogo hapa sasa hivi mnaenda nilikuwa nimeongea na mheshimiwa MCA mkienda kugawa hizi plots tafadhali muzikaribie sana kwa mtu wacheni tuache only 30 meters and that dam is enough for naibo na watapata maji safi ya kutumia pale mokema ifanywe na pale juu pia so if we do for na nyuki river timao river pia wafanye nini maji itakuwa run of water tutashika mingi sana na hiyo ni budget kidogo it will not even cost 10 million ku block maji hiyo tuki block hii kelele itapungua na najua county kama imeweza kununua drill hii haiwezi kufanya this county is trying really to supply maji ni ile tu ni ngumu najua governor atachukua jukumu hapo asaidie mbili tatu our able partners FFI na wao wengine mtusaidie tu block maji wakati wa runoff na watu watapata maji mimi common index hiyo sitaacha kutaja kuna swala mpya tunaambiwa tukue na common index all of us that is very necessary na pia kuwa na kampuni venye governor alianzisha ya rural water supply nikisoma ama nikisikiza hii report it's about water supply ukitaka ku achieve water quality tukishapata hiyo kampuni yenye ina regulate rural watu wote watapata maji lakini saa zingine ugumu wa kufanya vitu inaletwa na ufisadi yetu ya hapa chini mimi nitaachia hapo asanteni sana Mwenyezi Mungu awabariki asante asante sana saya mwenye kitu wa ruwa ya nyuki basi kwa sasa hiyo excellency nitaomba tutaenda kwa kiwango kingine cha viongozi wetu na naomba kunikaribisha MCA wa hapa kwetu Segera mheshimiwa Salim azungumze kwa kifupi kisha pia tamwalika mwenyekiti wa maji mheshimiwa Leila Mohamed tukaribisha mheshimiwa Salim kwa makofi mazuri karibu sana mheshimiwa kitu cha kwanza governor nashukuru siku ya leo hata nimekufulia kofia ngawaje jua inaaka baadaye nitarudisha ah uh, mheshimiwa governor waziri wetu madirector ambao wako mahali hapa county commissioner assistant county commissioner watu kutoka toweza na wale wengine pamoja na community na wanafunzi amjambo amjambo ai si tulikuja mkutano si mko sawa governor siku ya leo ni siku sherehe ya kuhusu mambo ya maji na ni vizuri tueleze haya yale mambo ambaye yako katika Kenya hii yetu asasa sana Sigera Ward Bwana governor ningepongeza watu wanaita wanajiita habitant for humanity mtu anaitwa Jared pamoja na wenzake au watu pia wametusaidia wametuchimbia bola hapa jua kali na hiyo ni njia moja kwa kupitia kwa ofisi ya governor 
Kwa sababu bila kupitia katika ile ofisi ya governor sujui sisi si, tungesaidika. Waziri pia tunashukuru kwa ile kazi ambayo unafanya pamoja na Habra. Ile speed mko naye msipunguze kwa sababu governor alitoa aliwapatia nguvu. Na pia mimi ninafanya siasa ya kusaidia watu wangu kuleta maendeleo. Mahali tunajua kwamba tunataka kuchimba ball pale ni lazima tuchimbe. Kama ni dam lazima tushimbe. Governor ukiona katika hii mkutano watu wengi wako katika hii mkutano kwa sababu gani? Kuna usuni ambayo ilitanda katika hii kijiji. Kuna mama tulimpotesa katika hii kijiji. Na pale sisi tukienda kuomba kwamba huyu mama hana uwezo yote ya kulipa ile bili ya hospitali na kona bili ya 1992 na 170 na jaribu kuelezea wa ndugu zangu ninajaribu kuelezea kwamba au watu wa sigira ni watu wa wana Kenya kama wengine ikiwefiwa bili ya mtu mwingine pia wefio hiyo mama ni vizuri governor uko hapa hiyo ndio machungu ambayo tuko hapa ndio imefanya watu wengi wazikuje maji na ni vizuri mimi sitaogopa kuelezea ukweli wa mambo. Mimi naomba gavana ukimaliza mkutano wa leo elezea mtu anaitwa Panga na uelezee mtu anaitwa Kilonzo atuefie hiyo bill ndio tumsike huyo mama yetu ndio sisi tusikie ra. Gavana kwa sababu siku ya leo ni sherehe ya maji ile kazi ambayo we governor umetufanyia pamoja na waziri wako hata kama kuna kashida kwa sababu ile machine tuko naye ni moja na litulitenga pesa governor we uka ukasema kwamba ni afadhali tununue mashini ambayo itashimbua uh, itashimbua balls katika area yetu ya laikipi ya mzima governor alisema kwamba atatengeneza ball mia tatu katika laikipi ya mzima na hiyo imeonekana saa hizi kuna ball saidi ya 15 ambayo imeshimbwa kwa kupitia nguvu ya governor pamoja na waziri unajua ya kaisari tumpatie kaisari yake na ilia ya kaisari sinaenda kwa wenyewe so governor siku ya leo sisi tunafurahi sana ingawaje watu ya naibo kwa sababu ya ile uchungu wako naye lakini ninajua kwamba hii uchungu siku ya leo utamaliza hiyo uchungu na hao watu wa sehemu hii wanakupenda sana. Hao watu ndio walitupigia kura. Na sisi tukapigia kina e, e, waziri kina Lea pamoja na kina na kina Habram na Kaso wako hapa. Pamoja na ndugu yangu wako hapa. Sasa sisi tunaendelea kufanya kazi hii viti na ndogo ndogo ambayo unasikia governor kwa watu sisi tunajua kukomesha hiyo pale kwa assembly governor sisi tutakushikilia mpaka mwisho hata kama kutakuwa na opposition pale kwa bunge sisi tutakusupport mpaka mwisho na sisi ndio wengi tutahakikisha miradi zako zote zimepita kwa sababu tunahitaji hao watu wasaidike Governor watu wa naibo wanahitaji maji. Na hiyo tumeongea na wasiri Lea. Tumeongea na waziri, tumeongea na na director. Tumesema kwamba hata kama hiyo mashini iko wala kipya west au wala kipya east. Niliambia director hiyo mashini mimi nataka kesho asubuhi Monday iwe hapa. Kwa sababu governor nikimwambia kitu huwa ananisikiza na hiyo mashini mimi naamini inakuja Monday. Mheshimiwa governor. Hapa kuna wamama wamejiunga katika vikundi vyao. Na niliambia mheshimiwa Wanjogo hao wamama wetu ni lazima kila mtu aingie kwa kikundi ndio wapate zile tanki ya maji ambaye governor ametenga pesa. Ndio ili 
hata mtu ikikatika pale hako na maji kwa tank sasa hizi truck iko hapa hii truck inasunguka karibu like ipya mzima like ipya north ikikosa siku nyingine truck hapa ujua kwamba wamepelekea mandugu zetu huko watu wasilalamike kwa sababu sisi tunasaidiana hapa mheshimiwa gapa na dispensary iko hapa hata ingawaje wa ndugu zanguni au mandugu zanguni wame wamepumzika unakuta daktari ni mmoja pale lakini ninataka kusema kwamba hakuna kitu haitakosa mwisho wake madaktari wa wagome na sisi ndio tunawekea pesa tunaomba watu wetu tusipoteze watu wetu kwa sababu ya kutujali oh, sisi wenyewe tunajali maslahi zetu ni vizuri tushikilie hapa naibo mheshimiwa governor community walikuja ofisi yangu asubuhi wengine wakaniuliza ni governor anakuja kupeana easy allotment ya hii shamba au namna gani nikamwambia ni siku ya maji leo hii mambo governor alitengeneza na nahakikisha kila mtu mwenye kwa hapa atapata sehemu yake iwe ndogo iwe kubwa watu ya area hii watanufaika so siku ya leo ni siku ya maji na waziri na boss tulikuwa na yeye alamizi anangangana na hiyo kazi na karibu amalize so ile kitu nitaomba watu ya hapa najua watu wakiambiwa wake mambo ya ardhi wanaweka siasa nyingi ndio ndipoza watu wengine wasisaidike jamani mimi naomba nyinyi sisi ndio na siasa mimi na governor sijui yako imetoka wapi si utulize siasa yako mpaka 2027 ndio ukuje kwa uwanja siasa tuliza saa hii ni kufanya maendeleo wacha siasa saa hizi hatuna siasa tunakuja kupiga hapa tunakuja hapa kusherekea hizi uh, miaka kuhusu hii mambo ya maji ya mwisho governor kwa sababu share ya maji katika county ako sehemu hapa mimi nitamwalika yeye akuje aongee moja mbili tunahitaji tushirikiane tufanye kazi na tuhakikishe kwamba wale watu walitichagua sisi tuwahudumie barabara zitotengeneza maji tutaweka watoto wamepata juzi basari hapa bado tutaendelea mheshimiwa governor mwaka uliopita tulikuwa tumepata pesa za basari milioni 25 na saa hizi tumepata milioni ya msidi na wanafunzi wetu wengi saa hizi wako kwa shule so mpige makofi Gavana alichagua naibo kufanya hii sherehe kwa sababu gani? Kwa sababu anawapenda. Hawachukii wale watu wengine ni mipangilio. Wakasema ni vizuri sisi tuanze naibo. Ambaye mahali ofisi yangu iko, si ndio? Tukasema kwamba ni lazima kwanza tufanye mkutano katika naibo hii ndio ndiposa siku hiyo nyingine tuweke mahali pengine. Kwa haya machache ninakaribisha dadangu ambaye ni mheshimiwa Leila tunafanya na yeye kazi ndio pia kwa sababu yeye ndio share ya maji katika county assembly. Karibu dadangu. Asante sana mheshimiwa. Your Excellency the Governor, waziri wale wako hapa, donors wale wako hapa, all protocols observed. Jina yangu ni Amina Leila, mimi ndo chair wa maji na agriculture. Lakini pia watu wengi sana hawajui nyumbani ni hapa juu. <laughs> na kwa machache wacha niseme mlisikia watoto walisema poetry hapa save water because water is life. Without water hata sisi hatungekuwa hai. Wapi hao watoto? Pongezi kwenu na hiyo poem yenu. Kwa sababu without water there is no life, there is no food, there is no us, there is no survival of any kind. Alafu pia wakasema kuhusu maji ni amani. 
ukiangalia sana saa hizi ile mzozo yote inaendelea upande hii kuhusu illegal grazers ni kutafuta maji si kwa ubaya yao kwa sababu mifugo zile wako nazo ndo uhai yao ndo ile inawaolisha ndo inawafumisha watoto na ndo inawapeleka hospitali tunahitaji amani governor kitu kitu moja naomba through your waziri kutoka pale taji pale imeuzwa manyumba kukuja hivi chini hakuna maji hakuna pipe water hakuna community water hakuna maji aina yoyote na ni, ni, ni uchungu kuona kwamba mtoto anakuja kwa gate na mitungi ya maji ametoka shule unajua mtoto anakuja saa saba unamuuliza mbona hauko shule hatuna maji nyumbani lazima tufikirie through either na wasco ama hii community water project vile tutafanya hizo pipes zinateremka chini huku kwote hadi ngarindare hatuna maji yoyote we all rely on the children the community here rely on well wishers kuwawekea tap nje kwa fence ama kwa gate kwa ration maji hiyo sasa unaona hiyo ni uchungu sana kuona kama binadamu and it was part of your manifesto kwamba maji itakuwa kila mahali lakini huku north kuna changamoto kidogo na naomba uongelie hiyo maneno through your waziri Although pia kuna uzuri ya hapa Segera kwa sababu ina financially tunafaa kuwa na bohol tano. Segera saizi wako na nane. Na ningependa mpige makofi kwa waziri na kwa governor na kwa badonas na partners wote kwa sababu tungekuwa na tano peke yake. Partners wamekuja through the county na wametuongezea wengine tatu. Tukiendelea hivi hadi 2027 naona tutakuwa na maji Segera mzima. Changamoto ingine vile chairman Sayo alisema ni wakulima ku block maji ya mto. Saa hii tukiwa na yeye amenipigia simu ameniambia kwa ameniambia kwamba mtu ambaye nimekodishia shamba ameweka pipe kwa mto. Nimepiga simu na nimemwambia within 24 hours tafadhali toa hiyo pipe kwa mto. Na kama hautaweza mimi nitachukua hiyo pipe na nitaleta kwa ofisi ya Mheshimiwa Salim apatie community because hauwezi kuwa maji inafungwa liki. Mimi nakukodishia na mimi sikutumii maji ya mto. Mimi niko hapo na kukodishia wewe wewe unatumia maji ya mto. Hii mto kuanzia liki kukuja chini liki farm hadi hapa Umande. Hii hapa junction ya Umande hapa jua kali. Hapo Naomba waziri wa maji mshikane na rua pumps zinaashagwa saa tano ya usiku mpaka saa kumi ya asubuhi maji haifiki haiteremki huku kwingine hakuna mtu anaweza sema anatembea mchana haoni pump na mwenye anaishi hapo anajua saa zile inawashwa saa zile inazimwa so naomba tafadhali waziri tushungane na tuungane na rua na tuangalie hizo ma, ma nini ma mashini. Alafu ningependa tu kushukuru donors, partners, asanteni sana. Leo ni World Water Day. Watoto naona wako na maji kwa wingi na kuna tangi ya maji, kunywe ni maji bebeni nyumbani. Na pia <laughs> ningependa kusema kwamba as the new chair for water and agriculture I will want to hold Waziri's hand as we continue helping this world and other worlds that need water asante ni oh pia ningependa <laughs> kuwaonesha waziri wa maji anaitwa cc madam lea endo boss yangu mdogo kwa sababu boss mkubwa ndio ule kana wewe boss yangu As, asante sana asante sana na chairman wa maji katika county assembly yetu na honorable member of the county assembly of Laikipia honorable Leila uh, your excellency the governor of Laikipia county uh, the board of director chairman of uh, Central Rift Valley Water Works Development Agency um, uh, I, I see other government uh, representative I see NEMA I see WRA uh, and I see our honorable MCAs we are very grateful to have the both of them here I see my colleague uh, 
ambaye ni uh, Honorable Kaso waziri wa agriculture na naona pia watu wa department yangu ninaona partners ambao wako hapa na wote ambao mumefika wana wakaaji wa huku na watoto wa shule wote nikizingatia all protocols hamjambo uh, kwa majina mimi naitwa Lea Njeri mimi ndio waziri wa maji na nimeshukuru kuwa miongoni mwenu uh, adhuri ya leo uh, your excellency the governor ningetaka kabla sijasema chochote kuweza kujulisha wale ambao tunafanya kazi nao ama tumekuwa tukifanya nao kazi katika kwa ajili ya hii sherehe na pia katika ka, mambo ya maji kama vile waziri uh, honorable Laila amesema uh, one of the things we are trying to restore back into the county ni partnerships kwa sababu tunajua pasipo kuwa na partnerships ni vigumu sana kuweza uh, kufikia uh, the vision ya kwamba governor yetu ako naye vision yake ikiwa ni kwamba kila mmoja wetu aweze kupata maji katika umbali wa kilomita moja kutoka mahali unapoishi na hata ikiwezekana zaidi maji kufikie hadi nyumbani kwako ukachotea mahali pale. Uh, na kwa hivyo ningetaka kuwashukuru uh, ningetaka kuwashukuru partners wetu, ningetaka kushukuru Toweza East Africa ambao wametuletea study ambao walifanya. Tunashukuru kwa hiyo study tutaiangalia kwa makini kuhakikisha kwamba mambo ambayo mmeweza kuzungumzia pale yataweza kutu, uh, kutuongoza katika kutengeneza program zetu na hata katika bajeti yetu so that our money can be put where our mouth is. Uh, na shukuru pia Fauna and Flora, thank you very much for being a great partner in the county. Uh, Flora and Fauna, watu wa Flora and Fauna ndio governor hizi kwa aweze kuona. Flora and Fauna. Oh, okay. Uh, wengine ambao tumefanya nao kazi of course uh, they are known to you is the water resource authority they have really been a key mover in this event we acknowledge your uh, your support and we have also worked with the SNV the listen program i think i've seen a representative here i'm actually wearing their branding uh, and of course we have worked with red cross thank you very much for being a part of us we have also worked with KWS and NRT as well as like keep your wildlife forum and we have nema here in our midst we thank you for being a part of us na kuna kikundi cha vijana ambazo ambao wako very very committed on matters of conservation wanaitwa ngarisha mtaa they are the people who call us out when there is a lot of uh, when 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 there is a lot of uh, pollution in the rivers when the garbage is uh, where it's not supposed to be i really appreciate what the youth are doing wakipitia kupitia hiyo kikundi cha ngarisha mtaa and of course company uh, na, uh, organization uh, impact tunawashukuru and uh, also nawasco has been a part of us here na tuko na enda pia who are the awaso nyiro north river Develop, uh, basin development authority and we also want to uh, appreciate your excellency for the first time in the county we have a partner that is called element access international being a, a company that uh, is supporting community sana wamekuwa kifanya kazi hapa segera wamesaidia segera ku drill borehole na wana equip and they are equipping the borehole with the smart water technology so that there is no there, there is no there is reduced uh, non revenue water and it is one of the things that we are actually going to be learning from their stand their stand is actually at the end on the other side showcasing what they do and we really appreciate uh, element access for the support that they are granting to us uh, wakati tunakusanyika mahali hapa your excellency ninashukuru kwa sababu ya theme ya mwaka huu ambao ni theme ya maji na amani na kama kuna mahali sijui yule alikuwa anatengeneza hiyo theme pengine alifikiria mambo ya like ipia manake kama kuna mahali vita huwa inanusia kila wakati ni, wa, ni like ipia kwa sababu ya maji na vita inakuwa miongoni mwa watu uh, inaweza kuwa ni wafugaji kwa wakulima ama wakulima wakati wa, na wakulima wengine ama wafugaji na wafugaji na hata na wanyama sasa shida yetu inakuwa nyingi kwa sababu tunapigana pia na wanyama wakitafuta maji tukitafuta maji na kwa hivyo theme ya leo ni theme ambayo imeambatana na ma, na experience yetu kama wakaji wa wa Laikipia. Uh, ningetaka pia kusema ya kwamba tumefanya mambo mengi katika hii Laikipia na moja wapo kutoka wakati governor alichukua ushukani ni kununua ile mashini ya kufanya drilling na tumeweza ku drill boreholes karibu 20 sasa 
Uh, na hata ingawa hatujafanya equipping tuna kuna uh, tume, tuna sasa tunaingia kipindi cha kufanya equipping uh, na tumeweza kupata maji mazuri hatujakuwa tume uh, of the 20 na wale ambao wanachimba maji wanajua kupata bowl ambayo ni dry zikiwa mbili it speaks of very good performance that's very good performance ni mbili tu tulipata ma maji ikiwa hatukuweza kupata maji na kwa hivyo tume ninataka kupatia hongera team yangu ya drilling uh, drilling uh, team that your excellency we are very very grateful that the central rift valley waterworks development agency wali to saidia ku set up this drilling team they sent their engineer here their operator here who helped to set that team and the, that team was trained very well because ata machine wakati hama ina vunjika wanaweza ku recover hiyo hama na wakipata challenges zile huwa zinatokea katika hii kazi wameweza ku deal na hizo challenges vilivyo and we have a lot of confidence on that drilling team and we are very happy so asante ni sana central rift for helping us to set this team and it is many of the things that you can be proud of of what you have done in Laikipia uh, na niseme pia your excellency pengine watu wanafikiria tu ni maji tuna drill lakini pia tunazingatia mambo ya kuangalia the small water supply the rural water supply schemes zenye ziko ziwe kama ni sirimon ama ni solio ama ni makurian tunazingatia hizo kwa sababu kuna zingine tunaona zina uwezo wa kufikia hata watu wengi kama tunaweza kuongezea zaidi maji ambayo ilioko na tukaweza kufanya ile last mile connectivity kwa hivyo mambo ya last mile connectivity kufikia mwananchi ambaye anastahili kunywa hiyo maji ni kitu ambayo tunazingatia na mtaweza kutuona tukiweza kumaletea maji karibu jambo lingine ni sema ya kwamba mambo ya water governance kwa sababu huku katika hii county maji kuna komiti ambazo zina manage maji kuna uh, kama vile kuna ruas wanaangalia mambo ya maji katika mito yetu na conservation na hiyo yote uh, 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 shida bado tungali nayo mambo ya governance your excellency but uh, nina, ninataka kuupatia wakaji wa laikipia tu uh, hope ya kwamba sisi kama serikali tukiongozwa na na his excellency governor wetu tuna, tumekuwa katika mstari wa mbele kulete out, uh, structure ingine ambayo tunaita la ruasco like ipia rural water and sanitation company ambayo itaweza ku manage these projects ili tuweze ku attract wafadhili na tuweze ku expand project zote ili kukaweza kukawa na investment mzuri na usimamizi mzuri lakini pia tutakuja kwenu ili kuweza kuzingati kuzungumzia mambo kama hayo na tuweze kukubaliana. Uh, katika um, uh, shida ambazo tunazo zipata ni kwamba uh, ni kweli uh, mara nyingi mnafikiria sisi ni watu wa maji. Sanitation is still a challenge we will still need to do a lot more but I want to tell you we have that in focus and you will see it in our, in our water bill we will also include uh, sanitation katika bill yetu ya maji ili tuhakisha kwamba tume improve sanitation katika Laikipia. Uh, kwa katika hali ya cons conservation your excellency we've had a lot of challenges also with ruas and i know wra is doing their best and i know the ruas they want they seek to do their best and today your excellency as i stood here and i saw the the, the men that stood here who represent these organizations as chairman ninaona ya kwamba ni watu ambao wa, wamefika umri ya kwamba when they are entrusted with the rivers they need to do their best miti yetu isije ikaanguka uh, uh, kwa, kwa, kwa ajili ya mtu kutaka kuangusha na ya kwamba mito yetu isiwe polluted let us work together so that we can deal with the challenges that the rivers are facing especially when they meander uh, uh, in our towns there is a lot of pollution in the rivers na wakati huyo excellency we have been summoned by nema to go and deal with pollution in uh, to discuss issues of pollution in our rivers uh, and especially Nanyuki. Uh, and so we will be meeting next week so that we can see how to address that issue, all of us together. Uh, I, I want to let the people watu wakaji wa huku na like kipia wate ya kwamba sisi kama serikali kwa sababu ya kutaka kuhakisha kwamba mazingara our catchments are preserved. We are setting up a, 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 a tree a nursery in the, at the polytechnic in Nanyuki and we are doing that in partnership with ICRAF na madhumuni yetu ya kuweka pale ndio 
kuweza kuweka miti ambayo what is called certified certified uh, planting materials yenye ukipata kama ni muti utapewa ukisema umetoka segera utapewa muti ambao unalingana na hali ya hewa ya hapa ili huo mtu kaweza kunawiri na kwa hivyo kwa mwezi ambao utakao kuja tutaanza sasa kulete hiyo miche ili tuweze ku, 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 kuwa na nasari ambayo itakuwa kubwa na tutaweza kuwapatia watu kutoka pale itakuwa miti ya kawaida na hata miti ya matunda ambayo tutaweza kuweka mahali pale na tutaweka hata bambu uh, 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 tree seedlings so that we can also use them in our wetlands uh, there is a lot that I would want to say, but uh, in the interest of time and also because I, uh, His Excellency will be speaking here, I really want to appreciate what we have done. And geta kuambiwa watoto kama vile umewambiwa na wakajiwa hapa. Tafadhali ile ni majisafi, tumetoa wakuko na wasko, munaeza kunywa na hata mbebe, tuweze kuenda na tanki kiwa haina maji. Na nishukuru pia Central Rift kwa kazi ambao wamefanya your excellency leo tumeweza kupatia watu wa Dodol Water Project uh, uh, 21 rolls of uh, of pipes kwa sababu najua wakati wa smart towns uh, mifereji iliharibiwa sasa wataweza kutumia hiyo ku extend maji town so ukikuja in the next month the, watu wa Dodol wataweza kupata maji safi na watajimudu kama watu wengine wa Kenya na pia watu wa Laikipia tukiendelea kuingilia na shukuru pia kwa sababu leo wameweza kupatia tanki ya tanki ya 10000 liters dodol primary na pia gutters wamewapatia na watatuma fundi atakuja kuweka gutters eh, hivi karibuni ili wakati mvua itakapokuja wataweza kupata maji ya kunywa ninashukuru sana kwa nafasi ambayo umetupatia kusavu like ipia in the midst of many challenges uh, bio ziko we try our best na nataka kuambia kwamba sisi Tunaangaliwa sana na governor kwa ajili ya kwa kisha kwamba vision bearer wetu ni His Excellency the Governor. Na sisi ya tuwezi taka kukulet down. So Your Excellency, thank you for being a, 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 a pillar of support for the department and for the vision that you have. We want to let you know that we will do our best. Ah, what kaji wa laikipi ya umuhura waka utakapo malizika watasema ya kwamba majiri wakaribia zaidi wakati wa honra bujoshwa irungu. Asanteni sana na buona wabariki. Uh, sasa nataka kuchukua nafasi kuweza ku, ku, kwa heshima kubwa na naomba tafadhali tukaweza kusimama ili tumwalike uh, his excellency the governor atatuelekea au wengine asanteni uh, tumkabribisha governor wetu kwa makofi mazuri asante asante let's take our seats thank you eh, <clears throat> ni kwa nini ni kwa nini najua watu wengi wanaangalia wanashidwa ni kwa nini gavana ameitwa halaka na kunaonekana ni kuna wageni wengi wanafaa kuogea na na gavana di ameitwa na inaonekana ni kama gavana di alikuwa ameogea mwisho kuligana na program lakini nime nimeamua kama baba wa kaunti hii na jamii ndi mzee wa hii kijiji Na leo tuko na wageni kwanza tuko na chairman wetu wa Central Lift Valley Water Works Development Agency. Na kwa sababu ya ule ushirikiano and the partnership that we have and the way we regard the Central Lift uh, Water Works Development Agency yeye ndiye mgeni wetu wa heshima na yeye ndiye atakuwa na the official speech. Na kwa hivyo leo ndio kuanzia saa hii Mimi am the official MC. Mimi ndiye nitafika wakati wa kuita wale wote wamebaki na kwa sababu kama mzee na kama bamba wa hii county nikiangalia watoto na masaa sasa ni saa nane. na hawa watoto wako na jaa. Na kwa hivyo ningetaka tutafupisha mengi yameongewa na mengi yamefanywa tangu asubuhi ni kwa sababu together with the county government ya Raikipia pamoja na na the central lift tulianza kazi mapema kwanza tukaenda kule ilikuwa inafaa siku ya leo tuweze kusherehekea world water day 20 the year 2024 ilikuwa tusherehekee kule dodo tukipatiana mifereji ya maji 
lakini tukaonelea kwamba kwanza twende kule tupatiane hiyo mfereji tupatiane tagi ya maji alafu tuweze kuja hapa kwa sababu hata watu wa naibo waweze hata na wao kuweza kuwa na nafasi ya ku celebrate the world water day kwa hiyo tulianza kule na ndio unaona tumeshelewa kuanzisha program yetu na kwa sababu ya hayo sigetaka tukawie sana kwa sababu ya masaa na sana sana kwa sababu ya hawa watoto wetu na ndio mnaona ya kwamba nimekubali na nimeamua nichukue hii microphone niweze kutabua wale wageni wale tuko na wao na kwa sababu ya wakati utanikubalia hamtaogea na kwa hivyo nataka kuonyesha wale wote tunafanya kazi na wao kama county government waweze kusimama wale wote tunafanya kazi kwa county government eh, waweze kusimama hiyo ndio ile team tuko na wao na kwa sababu ya wakati hii team yote tunafanya kazi kwa maji eh, kwa department ya maji na kwa hivyo eh, tu, situwapigie makovi jameni lakini nikubalieni nitabue tu waziri najua kwamba waziri hapo ni kwenu lakini kwa sababu ya wakati tafadhali e, kubali utaogea leo ni kwa sababu ya wakati niko na e, kwanza nitabulishe yule alikuwa waziri wetu wa maji yule alikuwa anaogea hapo bere na amesema mambo mengi ya maji yale sitarudia anaitwa sisi e, anaitwa Lea e, Jerry yeye ndiye waziri wetu wa maji na mambo ya masigira na kwa hivyo yeye ndiye anasukuma humu gurudumu wa maji kuhakikisha katika raikipi ya kaunti hakuna mtu atatembea zaidi ya kilomita moja kupata maji ya kunywa yeye pamoja na huu kijana anaitwa Abraham Lemanichoi Abraham Lemanichoi ndiye chief officer wetu wa mambo ya maji na masigira wao ile kazi pamoja na huu director hapa wewe mnaona hapa na mwingine uh, ule director pale Moria how do wale nimepatia kibalua kikubwa ile aibu ya watu wetu kwenda kwa demu kunywa maji ile aibu ya watu wetu kwenda kushidana na dofu na kushidana na wanyama na kushidana na na puda milia ati ndi nani atashota maji kwanza hiyo aibu tulisema hapana never and never again ile ikipi ya county na hao ndio wako na hiyo jukumu wakishirikiana pamoja na hao maofisa na mimi die niko pale kuhakikisha hayo yote inafanyika kwa hivyo situwapigie makovi hao watu wetu wa maji asante tuko watu wa maji sasa wakae chini niko na huyu e, kijana hapa o kijana tembea bere kidogo wewe le, kuja bere na wewe Hawa huyu kijana anaitwa Steven Lapian. Steven Lapian na nimesema hivi kwa sababu ya watu wangu nyinyi mnajua kwa sababu nampenda sana watu wangu wa North. Huyu kijana anaitwa Steven Lapian. Yeye naye ni mleta kwa ofisi ya gavana kama eh, chief officer wa ofisi ya gavana kwa mambo ya mambo ya county, mambo ya administration na huyu ile kile imefanya ni msimamishe hapa ndio muone what kwa ofisi kuna wale wakati mnahitaji kuona gavana wakati mnataka kufikia gavana wakati mnataka kuogeresha gavana na labda lugha inaleta shida kuna mmoja wetu we kutoka kwa hii jamii anaweza kupitia kwake kufikisha mambo kwa ofisi ya gavana kwa hivyo muheshimiwa muheshimiwa Salim rafiki yangu sana Mambo kama hayo tunasikia kwamba ati kuna mmoja wetu anapata shida na ni mkenya ni mtu kutoka laikipia na labda kwa sababu ya zile shida tunapitia na hatuwezi kulipa hiyo bill hospitali ni yetu mtoto mtu ni wetu na hata ile pesa analipa ni yetu ya kusaidia hapa hatuwezi kukubali ati mtu anakaa kwa, kwa hospitali kwa sababu ya na hii yote ni yetu kwa hivyo tunafaa kusimamisha mambo yengine kwa sababu tujali juu ya huo mtu na kwa hivyo nimesema wakati mambo kama hayo ikifanyika ebu tusirie ebu tuzilalamike tukiwa hapa tukiwa na watu kama ha patia yeye aperekee panga na nasema ya kwamba hiyo mtu wetu atatolewa kwa hospitali apatiwa waiver kutoka kwa hospitali huwa anaitwa Steven Asante 
Huu naye huu kijana udi ya waziri wetu wa kilimo. Anaitwa Dennis Kaso. Dennis Kaso nitampatia dakika moja tu. Kwa sababu ya kutagaza mambo ya vaccination na mambo mengine na nyinyi watu wetu. Ile ilifanya nipatie Dennis Kaso nafasi. Ni kwa sababu mara nyingi eh, chairman wetu na secretary wetu wa conservation wa ministry of uh, of world drive and tourism hapa watu wetu mara nyingi ukikuja mkutano kama huu any time any time ile kitu utaskia watu wakioba wanaobaga mambo matatu jambo la kwanza wanaoba maji governor maji pili maji wakitoka mambo ya maji wanasema mambo ya wanyama ya poli ya tatu ni lazima waobe chakula. Governor ni tohotie. Governor ja tupewe chakula. Hizo zote ni mambo ya aibu. Ni mambo serikali inafaa kuyafanya. Tukiiba mambo mengine ya mabarabara na mambo yale mengine yote, mambo ya maji, mambo ya chakula na mambo ya good health. Those are top priorities that the government is supposed to address. Na kwa hivyo huyu kijana nikamwambia kwamba hii aibu ya watu wanaikipia north kila wakati tunaomba chakula kila wakati tunaomba chakula it is him to empower the people of laikipia north to ensure ya kwamba they have food wako na chakula hii mambo unajua ga si si it's not a dignity it's not it's not the best thing ya kila wakati ni kuomba ni kuomba kwa hivyo eh, waziri dakika moja uhakikishie hawa watu utaonyesha jia ili ya kujimudu kimaisha na ndio waweze kujipatia chakula yao ya kila siku. Kwa Gresh dakika moja. Asante your excellency. Eh uh, this Aangalie is... pande hiyo. Eh uh, acha kuangalia hii. Unajua shida yao ni kuangalia hapa na wako na kazi. Eh uh, angalia kwa wananchi. Kuja simama hapa. Simama hapa uogelee hivi. Ndio hawa watu wa kuone hawa na hao. Asante your excellency uh, the CC present the CEOs eh mheshimiwa wetu eh uh, present hapa uh, the, the national government and uh, wafadhili na wakazi wa Segera amjambo enda asoba eh kwa majina mimi naitwa Dennis Kaso mimi ndio waziri wa agriculture livestock and fisheries asante sana governor governor nikiwa hapa kwangu ni less than 2 kilometers away So mimi ni mkaaji wa hapa Segera na asanti mimi ni ulinichagua ukanipea kazi hii ya ukulima na ufugaji nisimamie kaunti nzima. Your Excellency niko na man, maneno manne tu peke yake. Sitachukua muda mrefu. Ya kwanza Your Excellency leo ni siku ya what, maji na amani. Your Excellency upande wa maji mimi nasimamia maji ya irrigation na livestock eh, your excellency eh, hii, se, hii segera sasa hivi tuko na damu mbili tuna desilt na tunakaa na mheshimiwa huyu tu, tupange ni damu gani hizo mbili tutafanyia tutafanyi desilting kwa sababu your excellency unajua hapa kuna wakati tulikuwa tumefanya mradi hapa ya irrigation lakini kwa sababu ya uhaba ya maji ile maji yenye ilikuwa itumike irrigation watu walitumia kukunywa so your excellency tumeamua sasa tufanye maneno ya desilting of dams eh, your excellency allow me also because leo ni siku ya peace water and peace watu wa segera tunalia mimi nikikuwa mkaaji mmoja maneno ya insecurity ya kato wrestling na kwa sababu hapa tuko na national government your excellency sisi tunaambia wenye wanasimamia security hapa tu karibu na kwangu your excellency juzi kuna ngombe ziliibiwa na mbuzi juzi the, on sunday pale pande ya chumvi tena kulikuwa na yenye zimeibiwa your excellency hii yote inakosiwa ina na scarce of resources so tunaomba national government in charge of security watushughulikie kwa sababu laikipi ya tunaumia especially laikipi ya north na huko pande ya marmanet eh, maneno ingine your excellency tunajua sasa hizi tunaenda kup, eh, kupata mvua 
na kuna wakulima wenye walikuwa wamerejesta maneno ya fertilizer nawaambia hivi wenye wanapanda e, mahindi tuko na fertilizer pale na nyuki pale NCPB fertilizer ya huko NCPB tu inanunuliwa na shilingi 2500 na 77 na, na shilingi 77 na kwa sababu ukienda kaoga agrovet na hiyo inauzwa 1600 so tuko tu imekuwa subsidized to 2500 na 77 So your excellency hiyo ndio jukumu langu kama waziri wa agriculture to ah, uh, make sure chakula imeteremka asante sana asante yeah. situpigie waziri makovi jameni asante asante sasa niko na eh, niko na ma, niko na nani mwingine sasa niko na huyu kijana anaitwa James Mugambi James Mugambi DH, eh, CEO wetu au mkurugenzi wa department inaitwa Laikipia County Development Authority hii ni ile department kazi yake ni wakati wananchi au wakati serikali au wakati department ya serikali inataka kuomba msaada kutoka kwa wafadhili ile mnyama unaitwa proposal kwanza kwa wananchi na kuaga gumu sana watu wanaambiwa adikeni proposal kina mama anaambiwa adikeni proposal ndio mpatiwe hii ndio mpate ufadhili na mara nyingi inakuaga gumu na kwa hivyo nikawatengeneza na like ya account development authority na nikawaambia kazi yao ni kusaidia si kusaidia serikali peke yake mambo ya kuandika proposal ni kusaidia hata wananchi na wakati wanasaidia hata wananchi mambo hayo it is free of charge hawafai kulipisha wananchi wakati wanawasaidia kuandika proposal situpigie makovi jameni asanti na sasa nataka kwa wakati huu e, kutabua e, e, wale wengine partners wetu wale tunafanya kazi pamoja e, chairman wetu e, e, wa central water hapa la ikipia ni tofauti sana hapa we work with the national government sawa sawa hapa tukuagi na mpaka ya kwamba kama kaunti zingine ya kwamba governor anakaa pande hii county commissioner anakaa pande hii na kwa hivyo unaona mara nyingi ni ile fita ya serikali e, serikali inapigana inasahau mambo ya wananchi ya kwamba wote walipatiwa baraka na Mungu waweze kwenda kuhudumia wananchi si kupigana na kwa hivyo sisi tuliamua kitu kimoja kama kaunti hii ya kwamba tutafanya kazi pamoja na dio ukiona nasimama hapa ukiniona uone senator wetu John Kenywa ukiniona hapa uone mbuge wetu Sara Lekolere umuone uone uh, women rep wetu Jane Kagiri ukiniona hapa uone hata muheshimiwa Mwagi Kiojoli na uone muheshimiwa wetu Araikipia West muheshimiwa uh, daktari Washila Karani ukiniona unaona hao watu wote pamoja the reason they are not here today ni kwa sababu wa wote wako wanachikiria mambo mengine kidogo kidogo ni kwa sababu tunatarajia rais wetu e, mpendwa wetu dr william samboi ruto hivi karibuni wiki mbili ijayo atakuwa huku katika raikipia deputy president naye anakuja mande kwa hivyo hao wako humu humu kupagia hizo safari za hao wakubwa wetu kwa hivyo ndio nami nikasema ya kwamba kama mzee wa kijiji mimi ni lazima nishikilie boma na ndio niko hapa. Kwa hivyo ukiniona usione ya kwamba hao viongozi wengine ni kama hawaja kuja. Na tena ukiniona hapa uone county commissioner. Uone county commissioner lakini leo tuko na e, yule anasimamia the county commissioner na kwa hivyo yeye nitapatia dakika moja lakini kabla nipatie e, yule anasimamia county commissioner kuna department zingine tuko na ya Lua e, tuko na Wara that is W Water Resource Authority sijui nani yuko hapa wa Water Resource Authority nitampatia dakika moja alafu nitapatia mtu wa director wetu wa, wa, wa Nema kwa sababu hao watu wote tuko na wao tukishagia kama siku ya leo ile tunasema ya kwamba water for peace e, much kwa sababu if there is any third war ile third war itakucha ile vita kubwa ya dunia ya tatu itatokana na mambo ya maji hakuna kitu kingine ni mambo ya maji so today when we are talking about peace water for peace this is the best agenda we can have 
the best theme that we can have for this country in this year as we celebrate our World Water Day. Na kwa hivyo kwa dakika moja moja nataka kupatia yule anarepresent the uh NEMA dakika moja and then uh, Water Resource Authority dakika moja and then to the kwa county commissioner. Thank you very much His Excellency for giving us a chance to say somebody something uh, all protocols observed i thank you very much uh, yet to come nema nema inaitwa national environment management authority na ni shirika la serikali limepewa jukumu ya ku, 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 kufanya kazi eh, na, mach, na department zile zingine za serikali na mashirika ambayo si ya serikali na community katika kuboresha mazingira mimi ningetaka kusema challenge yetu E, tumepata sana kama complain kama vile waziri alisema ya mambo ya maji ni kuhusu pollution na kitu kingine kinaitwa kuharibu catchment wakati tulikuwa na sherehe hapa za last year zilikuwa zinaitwa journey, journey of water tulienda mpaka pahali mto ina e, iz, zinatokaga e, na mito inatokaga kwa kitu inaitwa spring from from the mountain so our catchment degradation uh, has caused a lot of uh, water to be very little. So actually we are saying uh, during the rains, there is a lot of water that flows and we think it's okay. But that is called storm water. Ukienda tumetoka hapa Rodaiga in a few hours and we have seen Timau River is dry and Tukija tunaona ni dry. So our rivers have become storm drains. They are no longer rivers because the rivers are supposed to flow from underground and the streams and then that streams come together they join tributary mnajua vile tulisoma na zinastegeneza mto so let's do something about our catchment and that is a responsibility of everyone let's join each other there should be no boundary in preserving the water catchment tukutu gane pamoja tufanye kazi namshukuru sana his excellency kwa sababu anatuuganishana sana kama serisa sharika la serikali na ningetaka kusema kila mtu amejua laikipi ya county anataka kufanya kazi na serikali ya laikipi ya county tumepewa another day inaitwa world drought and desertification day national event itakuja hapa na hiyo ni baraka kubwa sana na tutakutana nao wanaishi tuone tutafanya kazi aje huko dodo na tunafanya mambo mengi asante sana Director Makovi Mazuri Jameni, Udia Director wetu wa Nema, na mwinajuaga kwaba kuna hao, wakiona kuna mambo itadhuru masigira, au diya nafuga hizo miradi, au kupitisha miradi. Na kwa hivyo, wakati wote munaona ya kwaba kuna mambo inamudhuru ki environment, au ki masigira, mukieda kwake, hako na guvu ya kuzimamisha hiyo mambo isiko inafanyika. Kwa wakati unataka kukaribisha uh, yule anasimamia uh, water resource authority katika hapa laikipia county dakika moja aweze kusalimia watu your excellency the governor mi nitasema na all protocols observed nitakushukuru sana the way you are saying it's true serikali yako inafanya at the national government sisi tumeona hivyo wakati you are planning e program your officers who had support Madam Bernice, akachukua watu ya chini, akawapeleka juu akaone. Akachukua watu ya juu, akataremusha chini, waone vile maji iko. But shida yetu sasa sio maji kwa muto actual. Saa hizi ile maji mebaki kwa muto ni kidogo sana, Your Excellency. Na hata ile iko underground ni kidogo sana, Your Excellency. The report mepata kwa taweza, inasema how rated to call as Laikipian. But to spochunga mazingira, like the name officer has said, atuna maji. But I'm very happy because, Your Excellency, your first time I was again in Laikipia and your region office. You are a champion, Ya Mazingira. Yes. Please, I plead with you, through your CEC and uh, your other staff, please, to support Mazingira, kuwa shujia vila ulikuwa tena, Your Excellency, and we'll be pleased as Laikipian. I also plead... Tukono washikandao wengi sana that support in this function. Your Excellency Twitter Mukutano. I also call all the rural of chairmen within Laikipia 
tukai one day kwa kikao you help us map our way forward okay. and that with that your excellency na shukuru asante tupigie bwana mugabi makovi mazuri asante aha that one uh, bwana mugabi be assured uh, as a champion ya mambo ya maji and uh, conservation and uh, mambo ya masigira i will call uh, a team in fact uh, before the end of the day i'll give you a date that uh, uh, i'll call all the various stakeholders tuzungumzie mambo ya hii kaute hii ni kaute ni yetu na hatutoki na kwa hivyo able to regenerate kwetu na sisi hatutakaa watu wakuraramika sisi we should be the solution makers or problem uh, solution wale wana wanatatua si kulia kila wakati na kwa hivyo nitamuita siku moja sasa kwa heshima naona i want to appreciate all other partners eh kwa sababu ya wakati let me appreciate i know lea have mentioned the various partners eh wale tuko na wao i know she has mentioned all of you i want to really really appreciate the support that you are uh, uh, supporting us giving us to deliver services zile zinafaa kwa hivyo tunamshukuru sana na kwa hivyo on your behalf nyi nyote tafadhali ni niite uh, yule ana represent the county commissioner uh, madam ACC na ndio uweze kusema jambo moja na na kwa heshima kubwa utashukuru wale partners wote asante yeye ndiye anakuaga chairman wetu county commissioner ndiye anakuaga chairman wetu wa mambo mengi sana si tukalibishe yule anasimamia county commissioner eh hey, si tumukalibishe na makao mazuri jameni au mnataka nifugiwe dani asante asante sana Uh, thank you your excellency the, the governor uh, the cc is present uh, the chair wa board of directors uh, central nift all protocols observed uh, good afternoon i'm jambo kwa majina naitwa fibi mukami karioki mimi ni assistant county commissioner one kwa ofisi ya dcc na siku ya leo nimetumwa na county commissioner niwakilishe Uh, kwa hii event mzuri ya kuselebrate siku ya maji na niseme ya kwamba kama venye governor amesema national government na county government ya naikipia tunafanya kazi vizuri sana and the other day i was mentioning to some people we were working with kwa committee ya liquor licensing and inspection nikawaambia kama kuna county moja kwa zini ambazo nimefanya kazi nimeona hakunanga timu ya governor ama hakunanga timu ya national ni naikipia na situpige makofi And so ni sema ya kwamba siku ya leo uh, I am needed united to be here to discuss uh, na kuku, ku participate in issues concerning water. Manake maji ni uhai. Na kama venye CEC wa agriculture amesema wamekuwa kifesi insecurities ya wizi wa mifugo na mambo kama hayo. Na one of the reasons yenye inachangia mambo kama hayo insecurities kama za wizi wa mifugo, wildlife human wildlife conflict ni sababu ya kukosa maji. Na kwa hivyo naweza taka kusema ya kwamba all those um, mikakati yote ambayo imewekwa in place na mambo yote ambayo has been highlighted in this event yafuatiniwe na yazingatiwe kama kuna wenye wanafungia maji juu tafadhali tuhakikishe mnaachia wengine wapate kama kuna dams kama kuna nini boreholes zote zikiweza kukuwa affected then it means hata insecurity itaenda chi si ndio Yeah, na pia ni shukuru ya kwamba na ikipe ime mention. Unajua let me say something small governor kidogo. Siku yenye nilipata barua ati nakuja na ikipe, nilishangaa wa nimetumwa na ikipe. Kitu ya kwanza nilisikia hiyo ni hardship area. So hiyo report yenye imepeanwa hapa imeweka na ikipe ya mali pazuri. Manake hata mimi when i came to naikipia sijai ku experience shida ya maji kama venye nilikuwa natarajia kwa hivyo we are doing when as naikipians and we are happy tukisimama kwa map ya kwamba tunaendelea vizuri na pia nimesikia governor ametaja shida ingine watu wana mention ni ya chakula na nimekuja na good news si unaona serikali kuu ikikuja inaleta good news si ndio niangushe good news ama nisiangushe unajua nikiwaangalia hivi naweza amua kuona hii kama baraza Yeah. Anyway, uh, kuna chakuna tumepata chakuna ya msaada. Na any time beginning Monday ama Tuesday mtaweza kuitwa na chief mkuje mpatiwe mchele na maanagwe. Si mtupigie makofi. Sasa mmepata maji na maji itaendelea kukua na tena chakuna iko njiani. Si mko sawa? Ah, asante sana bwana governor. Asante. Si tupigie madam ACC makofi mazuri. Asante. Kwanza tume eh, ya muhimu ya kwamba 
kuanzia mande tutaitwa dio tuweze kupatiwa shakura e, na tukipatiwa shakura wakati huu e, mvua ikinyesha jameni e, tuanze kujitayarisha kupada hata ikiwa ni kitu kidogo na mimi ningemuomba ya kwamba tusikuwe tunategemea mahidi peke yake pada mahidi kidogo pada maharagwe kidogo pada sunflower kidogo pada boga kidogo hebu tujaganye vitu tusibebe mayai yetu na chodo moja mimi nataka kwa wakati huu e, kabla ni nialike mgeni wetu wa heshima siku ya leo nimeandamana na mlafiki we, wa, mwingine wangu yeye alikuwa waziri wa mambo ya maji na masigira kule Nadi County wakati wa tamu yangu ya kwanza na ni rafiki yangu sana wakati baadaye ya hiyo akakuwa mimi wakati tulienda 2017 yeye naye akaenda akapatiwa kazi ingine national kwa wakati huu nyinyi mnajua kwamba tuko na mlebo wetu moja mtoto wetu wa hii eneo anaitwa Sylvia Museya yeye tunachukuru rais wetu kwa sababu alimpatia alipatia mtoto wetu nafasi aweze kuwa PS wa mambo ya World Drive and Tourism. Situpigie rais wetu makofi mazuri. Na ni mtoto wetu kutoka hapa. Na and I want to encourage our, our, our good people here, our students and our pupils hapa. That hata sisi tukiwa huku nchini tunaweza onekana kupitia kusoma and we become big people in this country. Na hakutugefikiria mtoto kama huo yule ametoka hapa machinani ati anaweza kwa serikali kubwa akuwe PS na sasa leo hii ndiye PS na leo tuko na e, na kwa sababu tarehe 12 najua kwamba rais wetu atakuja hapa kwa sababu ya wild drive compensation kwa sababu ya wale wameuawa na dofu wale wameharibia chakula yao na dofu kwa hivyo kutakuwa na hizo mikutano the president of the republic of kenya Dr. William Samoi Ruto najua anakuja kutembelea wakati ule. Na kwa hivyo leo asubuhi eh, tukakuwa na secretary wa conservation kwa hiyo department ya eh, wildlife and tourism yule die secretary mkubwa yule mambo yote ku coordinate mambo ya hiyo department ako na sisi leo hii eh, na kwa sababu tulikuwa tunapanga mambo ya vile na hizi unajua ni lazima mzee wa kijiji abiwe ya kwamba toa mifupa hapa toa hii panga hapa weka hapa na kupanga ni wapi, ni wapi rais wetu atatebea kwa sababu ya mambo ya compensation wild drive compensation na mambo ya ku launch zile fences za wild drive zile fences za kuzuia wanyama kwa hivyo tulianza kupanga hiyo maneno leo kwa hivyo akanitebea na nikamwambia kwamba niko na marafiki wangu wa naibu na kwa sababu leo tunasherehekea water for peace mambo ya kuleta amani na nyinyi kwa hiyo department na kuanga hao watu mnachunga muna wao saigine wanatuletea chida hapa tunakunywa maji na wao tunashidana na mambo ya maji na wao na kwa hivyo kuja sikiliza vile tunazungumza tukizungumzia mambo ya maji na amani na kwa hivyo niko na yeye hapa nataka kumpatia dakika moja ndio kutoka hapo nipatie eh, chairman wetu au wa, mgeni wetu wa heshima wa siku ya leo situkaribishe secretary wetu wa conservation kwa wizara ya ya wow drive and yeah. tourism dakika moja asante sana uh, uh, governor wa area hii rafiki yangu mtumishi wa wananchi wa Laikibia uh, the chair of uh, Rift Valley Water Services Board uh, viongozi MCA ambao nimewaona hapa CC ambao wako hapa the partners ambao wako hapa uh, the county commissioner representative wananchi wa area hii amchambo amchambo tena ah uh, kwanza nataka nichukue nafasi hii nisema asante sana governor kama vile mmeambiwa uh, kwa majina naitwa daktari John Kipkorir Chumo uh, nikitoka huko mali naitwa Nandi County katika upande ule mwingine uh, lakini wakati huu mimi ni katibu wa uh, uifati katika wizara ya uh, wildlife and tourism Uh, katika uh, serikali yetu ya Kenya. Na leo kama vile mmeambiwa nilitembea tulikuwa jana kama tumekuwa huko uh, uh, International Day for Forest na leo nilikuwa na appointment uh, kuwa kumuona rafiki wetu ambaye ni governor wa area hii na amewaambia ni kwa nini nilikuja kumuona. Na kabla sijaendelea nataka niseme kwamba asante sana governor 
wakati eh, nilikuwa waziri wa environment eh, kutoka 2013 mpaka 2017 mimi nilikuwa chair wa mawasiri katika kiwango hiyo ya, ya environment and, cli and uh, climate uh, change lakini mkubwa wangu ambaye alikuwa chair ni huyu governor so nilikuwa mtu wake wa mkono wakati alikuwa governor wa kwanza wa eh, county na council of governors alikuwa chair ya hiyo section na kwa hivyo tumefanya kazi na yeye na wa, una, unajua marafiki wanatembeanga hivyo hata sungine nikapata tena amepewa kuwa chair ya water uh, um, it was uh, water rep na mimi huko nilikuwa environmental ombudsman na tukakutana tena na juzi sasa tumekutana tukifanya kazi pamoja katika county yote leo nataka niseme nina furaha na hasa kukuja area hii aliniambia kwamba uh, lazima tuende tuone maneno maendeleo katika area hii na nimeona uh, governor you have uh, you have great people huko na watu wasuri wa county hii nataka mjibikie makofi kabisa mimi wakati nilikuwa ombudsman nilikuja hapa ku uh, kesi mingi uh, ya maneno ya maji ya naambia maji inatoka mahali pengine lakini haibiki mahali pengine because kuna ile abstraction ya wa, uh, maji uh, au tulikuwa nasema ni we, we, wale wakubwa ndio wanachukua maji na wale wadogo wanaumia na tukafanya cases mingi na leo nimesikia mheshimiwa MCA pato anaongea na kuhusu yale mambo kutoka wakati ule na mimi najua ya kwamba sio hapa peke yake it's a problem that is cutting across uh, the whole country i want to say this that uh, today uh, whoever design uh, the theme of today's uh, conserve, I mean uh, day of um, uh, to celebrate water i want to say it was the right thing water for peace because for sure ladies and gentlemen katika uh, area hii sote tuna shida sa watu kupikana wa, uh, wanyama kupikania maji na mambo mengi na sio hapa Kenya peke yake ni dunia na lakini tukiwa leo area hii ya ya uh, Laikibia i think that, he, that the theme uh, fits very well na mimi nataka niseme hii ya kwamba katika uh, wizara yetu um, ya tourism and also wildlife uh, kabla sijaendelea nataka mupate salamu kutoka kwa msichana wenu wa area hii wa Laikibia ambaye ni PS uh, Sylvia Musea ambaye anajua kwamba niko hapa na ameniambia nikifika area hii niwapatie salamu zake na kama vile mumeambiwa mko na paati sana. Asa area hii mumepewa nafasi ya kuwa na PS ambaye in charge of wildlife. Na shida senu mingi inahusu maneno ya wildlife. Si kweli? Na kama vile tu tuendelee tu kupigia makofi is excellent the president of the Republic of Kenya. Ya kwamba amewakumbuka. Na nikirudi nitaambia kwamba eh, watu wa Sekera, watu wa area hii wamefurahi uh, kuwa na uh, wa, uh, PS kutoka area hii ambaye anafanya kasi kule. Na katika area area hii mkiongea maneno ya maji. Jana tuliongea maneno ya forest. Na governor I will be very short. Ya kwamba wakati Mungu aliunda dunia hii aliweka kila kitu. Akaweka maji, akaweka um, mito, akaweka forest, akaweka kila kitu. Na baadaye akaangalia akasema nini? Akasema hii kila kitu ambaye alitengeneza ni nini? Ni mzuri, si nivo? Lakini ukiangalia saa hii tuko na vita sana. Wanyama ambao walikuwa natakana wakae kwa kwa pori wamekuwa na shida na wananchi ambao wanatakana wakae mahali pengine. Ni, 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 ni kwa sababu tuko na challenges mingi kama vile mmeambia maneno ya climate change, ngine mmeambia kwamba tumeharibu masingira tumeenda tukakata miti eh, miti kutoka kwa forest tumeharibu mahali ambao wanyama wanatekana kukua, kukaa and dibo eh, elephants au ndovu sinawacha huko kutafuta maji mahali walikuwa wanatekana kwa kunywa maji wengine wamakata sile eh, mamitaro simefungusa maji na wananchi sasa wanaanza kutafuta maji kutoka kwa wananchi ile maji kidogo yenye ulileta kama mama eh, ile ndovu anataka kuja kukunywa na wewe this is what we are actually talking about and it is, uh, it, we are calling upon all of us who are seated here today that it is uh, atuna watu wengine wanakuja mbali ni sisi kama ni shida ya Laikibia 
uh, msugoje watu wengine ni nyinyi mketi chini msolve your problems ambao tumesema lakini nataka niseme asante kwa governor because you have a group of very serious people i have seen partners who have actually come on board i have seen uh, your, 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 your administ administration team who are actually eager to, ass to assist you but from our side where we sit from the uh, ministry of uh, wildlife we are going to work together especially on issues to do with human wildlife conflicts ambazo sina sina siko na area of pandu na kama vile umesema i think his excellency would be coming on the board and uh, kwa wale ambao mnasikia eh uh, hii ya compensation is a country problem but amesema uh, kwamba tukiona shida mingi inatoka like pia na amesema anataka kuja ku asia mwenda hapa au muko na baadhi sana na nimesikia kwamba mko mnaanza ni jana ilikuwa id eh, forest sijui leo mko nini na i think you people are lucky to be a governor i think it's also a blessing that you have a very working governor like this na kwa hivyo nikimaliza um ps aliniambia hivi ya kwamba juzi tulitanga eh, ministry au serikali walitangaza eh, over 1500 jobs au kasi ya KWS. Muliona hiyo? Nataka nione kwa kwa migono ya kwamba muliona kwa kaseti au mahali pengine. Mweke mweke wale ambao hajaona waseme. Lakini mimi najua nyinyi mmeona. Na mimi najua governor ataendelea hata kutumia county commissioner and what he said au alisema hivi. Na msikie kwa Kiswahili ya kwamba kuna nafasi mingi nyinyi muingie eh, tarehe ambayo mumewekewa kiwa la kibia muende kwa hiyo eh, kituo na mutafute kasi yuko sawa sawa just like all other people who are actually doing the same so that we are saying he, we are giving an opportunity hakuna maneno hakuna shortcut ya kusema kuna mali pengine utapewa ati nafasi tunataka hata yule mwenye ana nafasi yule 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 mkogo yule eh, eh, mtu ambaye wesi ana pesa ya kununua nafasi atutaki vitu kama hizo tunataka watu waende kiwanjani hata yule mwenye ana apate nafasi au namna gani sumbigie hata serikali wamesema tufanye hivyo saa hii hatuna nafasi ya kusema ati wewe ungoje kesho uuse shamba upatiane pesa hakuna kitu kama hiyo and his excellence the president of the republic of kenya uh, uh, mheshimiwa ruta amesema hakuna maneno ya kuongana watu waende kiwanjani wapate nafasi na watu waende tuendelee hivyo na nikiendelea nikimaliza wapi watu wa Kenya eh, ke, 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 ke KWS msimame hawa ndio mnafanya kazi nao na wakati niliingia walikuwa wengi siju wameenda wapi au, au wamesikia ndovu iko mahali fulani <laughs> eh, walikuwa wengi hawa ndio watu wetu tunafanya eh, tunafanya kazi nao na wako area hii na kama muko na eh, issues yote mufanye kazi nao So kwa hivyo nataka nisema asandeni sana na Mungu awabariki muendelee hivyo hivyo. Kongoi. Aya, situpigie eh, secretary wetu katibu mkuu kwa eh, state department yetu ya Wild Drive and uh, Tourism. Asante. Mimi nataka kuchukua dakika moja tu. Kwanza kuhakikishia watu wa Raikipia hiyo eh, mambo ya wa, Wild Drive Rangers eh, tarehe 16 kule Rumuruti tukibie tufanye vile lakini nimengangania ya kwamba si kama wakati mwingine ile si tunaenda kukibia tunakipia watu mia moja, watu elfu moja, baadaye tunasikia ni kamutuka moja kama shukuruwa hapana hii tuko na namba mzuri wakati huu tuko na namba mzuri kwa hivyo watu wasiseme ya kwamba tunaendaga kule bure kwa hivyo ebu twende kule tufanye vile inafaa tukitumia sheria ile yote inafaa na najua kwamba haitakuwa ya bure ni kwa sababu tumesema kila ward ni lazima ioje hizo nafasi ya serikali kwa hivyo hiyo najua kwamba itakuweko kwa hivyo mimi tu eh, kwa sababu ya siku ya leo eh, dio nikaribishe wa eh, mgeni wetu wa heshima aweze kusoma spishi yetu ya siku ya leo ya World Water Day ya mwaka wa 2024 na kubalieni nitaje mambo matatu Jabu la kwanza ikiwa kuna kitu tutaseme sana na sisi tutaita viongozi wote ni kwa sababu tutaita watu wa Warma eh, au Water Resource Authority tutaita watu wa Central Rift Valley na washikadao wengine 
kwa sababu ile mpa, mfa, eh, eh, mchezo wa paka na panya ni lazima tumalize katika raikipia na tutamalize na jia gani na hapa watu wa water resource authority na watu wa lua ni lazima nyinyi mtusaidie ni lazima tusaidiane kwa ukweli kwa sababu kuna wakati ile maji ni yetu sisi zote na jambo la kwanza na inaadikwa kwa katiba na imeadikwa na jia mzuri sana it is the first priority ni maji ya kunywa igine yote inakuwa secondary maji ya kunywa kwanza alafu igine tunalima tunafanya mambo mengine hata mambo ya viwanda tunafanya kwa hivyo ule mchezo tuko nao na watu wetu wale wa, wa hapa Mount Kenya pale pade ya Meru mambo ya kwamba sisi maji inafugiwa kule inalima kwanza inafaa kujulikana ya kwanza the first priority even in the water act 2016 it is water for drinking kwa hivyo maji ya shiriwe kwanza watu wapate maji ya ngombe na maji ya kunywa kabla tufikirie mambo ya kulima kwa hivyo that is an arrangement that we must make sure that tumeogea na tumekubaliana on how the water will be first be given to our people ya kukunywa na kuhifadhi masige, wanyama wetu na tena masigira kabla ya kufanya mambo mengine yote na this is a virus zile tutafanya tuadikanie katika watu wetu wale wanaishi kule juu and particularly the upstream people ni lazima tuweze kuwa na mkataba so that during the dry season let our people let there be flow of water of the streams zikuwe na manji wakati wa kiagazi and therefore sisi kama county kwa sababu ya tunajua kwamba shida ile kubwa sana na ile fita inatokeanga ni wakati watu wanashidana kwa sababu ya maji na kwa hata watu wanashidana watu wanapigana hata majirani wanapigana wakishidania hata ile maji kidogo and that's the reason why the county government have decided to do the following ya kwanza tukahakikisha kwamba kwa sababu hatuna mito hiyo mingi ni kuchimba bohol katika every primary and secondary school tutashiba bohol tuhakikishe watu wetu kwa shule wako na maji na tusabazie watu wetu waweze kupata maji kwanza tukianzia shule shule watoto wetu ni aibu kuwa wa kwamba instead ya watoto wakuwa wanasoma wanajaa kwa dispensary kwa sababu ya magonjwa ile inaligana na mambo ya maji ya pili ati ya kwamba mtoto ni lazima asubuhi abebe maji aende naye shule kwa sababu ya kunywa hiyo ni aibu na kwa hivyo tukasema ya kwamba kama county sisi na resources zetu ya serikali tukipatana na watu wa tukipata, tukishikana pamoja na washikadao wengine tukishikana na washikadao kama even uh, central rift valley tuhakikishe every primary and secondary school iko na bohol ile itakuwa inapatia watoto wetu maji na hiyo maji bado inasabaziwa wananchi wale kari, wako karibu ya pili tukasema ya kwamba na nikaanzisha mulandi ya kuhakikisha kwamba kuna mambo kuna mambo kuna maji nyingi Mungu ametubariki na mambo ya maji ya mvua ile maji ya mvua ni ya kwamba kila mwaka tunaangalau tunapata maji kidogo lakini mara nyingi ni hiyo maji inatiririka na inapotea baada ya siku mbili unaona akina mama anaenda kufuata hiyo maji kule kwa demu kuchota maji na kwa hiyo tukasema ya kwamba tutaanzisha mulandi na ndio tume launch the other day mulandi wa kuhakikisha ya kwamba 50000 household au boma 1500 tutaanza mradi wa kuwapatia matagi ya maji waweze kila boma ipate tagi ya maji ndio kutuhifadhi ile maji ya, ya kutoka kwa mabati na ndio hata wakati kuna kiagazi akina mama na boma ziko na maji ya kutosha kutoa kwao tena jambo lingine ni ya kwamba hizi buza zetu za maji tuhakikishe kwamba wakati tutaleta hizo matagi ya maji hata wakati wa kiangazi hizi tanka zetu zitakuwa zinaletea watu wetu maji zinawekea kina mama na, na zile boma kwa sababu wako na water reserve tunaweza kuwawekea maji hata wakati wa kiagazi wakati kama huu na hayo ni kati ya zile mipango tunataka kuyafanya to have peace 
kwa sababu ya ile fita inatokaga kwa sababu ya maji na kuna mambo mengi bado tumeyakubaliana na wakati tutakuwa na hiyo kikao na hao washikadao ni kwa sababu mara nyingine tunaangalia ile maji itatoka kure lakini hakuna wakati tunafikiria tutaendelea kuhifadhi hizo masigira na njia gani na ndio maji hii iendelee na kuteremka na kwa hivyo hao washikadao takaa pamoja tuweze kuwa na ile eh, cashment management plan tusaidie the luas kwa sababu luas wako na ka, eh, eh, the cashment management plan tuone vile tutaweza kuimplement those plans so that maji tunaweza hifadhi kule maji inatoka na ndio maji inaweza kuendelea kuteremka na kila mtu aweze kupata maji ya mwisho ya kwamba kwa sababu tumeamua kama na ekipi hatutategemea tu hii mambo ya kutegemea mvua kwa sababu ya tuweze kupata chakula and therefore tutapatana na tunashikana na washikada wale wengine tuone ya kwamba tumetengeneza eh, water pans tumetengeneza boho zingine za kupatia watu wetu maji ya kulima na wakati nanyi mtapata maji ya kulima tafadhali tutumie hiyo maji na ile jia ina bora ile jia inafaa na ndio tusimwage maji nyingi na ndio tuweze kupata chakula zetu ya kila siku na kwa hayo eh, kuna mengi yamesemwa na uh, wale wameogea hapo bere, kwa, bere yangu na nimeandika hapa lakini kati ya hayo yote tutamuita kwa sababu ya hizi miradi kidogo kidogo hii miradi kidogo kidogo unaona leo the uh, central lift valley wanachimba bohol moja pale wakichimba bohol wanaiacha pale baada ya miezi mitatu miine ile chango na vigeregere kwanza ya siku ya kwanza ya pili mwezi wa kwanza watatu kampira kanafujika kidogo watu kutoka hapo wanaanza kutafuta serikali serikali saidia na nika kitu ya miabiri. it is because of the management of water resources na kwa hivyo tumeamua katika raikipia kwa sababu tumegudua tuna hizo chida nyingi ya kwamba unaenda mahali kwingi unakuta bori lichimbwa either na mbunge either na mchika wachikadao wakashimba au mfadhili ameshimba lakini baada ya mwaka moja au baada ya miezi sita hiyo hiyo boho haisaidi watu and that is the reason we are coming up with what we are calling laikipia water uh, lulo water and sanitation company ile itakuwa inasikiria hizo boho zote zile zote tutaanzisha ndio itakuwa ina manage ndio tuone ya kwamba the water governance it is well done in laikipia ndio ile kazi yote itafanywa inasimamiwa na ile jia inafaa ndio ile malengo ya kuhakikisha watu wetu wanaendelea na kupata maji na maji safi iweze kudumishwa na kwa hivyo mimi nikomee hapo e, hata igawa nilikuwa na mambo mengi tugeyasema siku ya leo lakini kwa sababu nitakuwa na mikutano kadhaa ya wananchi nitakuja kwenu na tena nitakuwa na, mish, na mikutano ya washikadao tukizungumzia mambo ya maji ya gutu kwa wananchi ni kumhakikishia kwamba we are on top of the agenda ya kuhakikisha si tufanye kazi yetu tuone ya kwamba watu wetu wanapata maji na zile fita zinatokana na mambo ya utumiaji wa maji zote zitaisha kwa sababu watu wa KWS watashiba demu washibie kule conservancies na kule kuingine nasi kama serikali tupatie watu wetu maji ya kunywa na kwa hayo Mwenyezi Mungu ambariki amtende mema and I wish you all the best na tukisikiliza eh, hotuba ya siku ya leo kutoka kwa mgeni wetu wa heshima ningetaka kuambia watoto wetu leo na, na wale wengine wote tuko hapa tunyamaze tusikilize ni kwa sababu baada ya hapa najua kwamba kuna kitu ya kukula kwa hivyo tutulie tu kidogo tutulie kidogo kuna ka kitu tutapata tukimaliza mkutano sini sasa jameni na kwa sababu ya hao na heshima kubwa sana situsimame tukaribishe mgeni wetu wa heshima yule atatupatia hotuba ya siku ya leo ya kusherehekea the world water day mwaka wa 2024 na tumukaribishe na na, uh, na shangwe na vigere na makovi mazuri moja mbili tatu ine tano asante sana mgeni wetu wa heshima asante karibu Haya tunaweza keti asanteni Your Excellency the Governor 
CECs, mgeni kutoka Ministry of Tourism, na wageni wote ambao walikwa na wenyeji, hamjambo wote, hamjambo, eno sova bogin, uh, kwanza nataka kuchukua nafasi hii kushukuru governor siku anakuja nikiwa mgeni wa, wa heshma lakini asante kwa kunitunukia hiyo heshma pili ni kupongeze na nipongeze watu wa laikipia kwa sababu aliona kuna mambo ulikuwa umepanga ambayo ilifaa ili, ilifa urudi ili ukamilishe Na nikisikiza hapa watu wale wameongea na ukiongea uh, I think people of Laikipia should be proud that they have somebody with a vision and down to earth like your governor here. Naitwa Mheshimiwa Madenge Nderitu kutoka upande ule wa Nakuru na ndio mwenyekiti wa shirika hili la Central Rift Valley Waterworks Development Agency. Ni mrefu sana na kuna watu wana, inakuwa ngumu kulitamuka. So just say Central Rift Water. Hiyo hiyo inatosha. Na utakuwa ume, ume utakuwa ume describe our organization Central Rift Water. Ah uh, kabla sijaendelea ndio nisahau niko na team ikiongozwa na nafikiri kujeni hapa tu haraka haraka sababu hatutaki kuchukua muda sana hawa wamekuwa hapa tangu jana wanaongozwa na Lucy Lucy Mburu engineer mnaona wasichana wale muko pale e, huyu ni engineer wa maji wa miaka mingi Kennedy Kurgat Kennedy Kurgat pia na yeye ni engineer uh, Brian Koimet from finance Brian Koimet from finance Asante sana mnaweza keti uh, pili ni waeleze kidogo tu kabla sijasoma hii hotuba kidogo ambayo imeandikwa Shirika la Central Rift Valley Water ni moja ya mashirika tisa ambayo yanahusika na maji kupitia kwa national government. Kwa hivyo yale mambo tunafanya tunafanya kupitia kwa tunafanya kwa niaba ya national government na sisi tuko katika Narok, Nakuru, Baringo, Nyandarwa na hapa Laikipia. Laikipia ilikuwa northern walikuwa wanashukurikiwa kutoka Garissa but in the wisdom of the former cabinet secretary sisi rikarioki wakaigawa wakaileta upande wa Rift Valley kulikuwa na hizo mashirika nane wakagawa Rift Valley sababu ilikuwa inatoka Turkana all the way to Narok wakagawa wakaleta laikipia upande huu alafu kuna zile zilienda upande huo wa North Rift. Kwa hivyo ndiyo tukawa na shirika la Central Rift na North Rift. Na ndiyo nisisahau governor. Nafikiri nilikwambia wakati tulikutana kule siku ya kupanda miti. Nikwambia sina mshiri, sina director kutoka hapa. Ningetaka tu kukukumbusha mimi um, chairman and a director of Central Rift courtesy of Nakuru County Governor. Hiyo ni nafasi ya mtu mmoja ambaye angekuwa hata kama haikuangi kazi permanent sana ndiko nafasi ya mtu na tena zaidi ya hayo yeye tukitaja naibor anaijua ni wapi lakini director wa kutoka naro hata jua kwa hivyo na nafikiri uhakikishe uh, president akija ama deputy wakienda wajue wanaenda kwa point I'm seeing the cabinet minister on Monday, I guess. I've also been pushing him for that. But you know, mostly they come from up there. Kwa hivyo, tupate mtu ya hapa, because we have resources, we have done some bohos here, labda hazi kupata mtu yure wakuzifatilia, ili na yola ikipia iwe dania ya hiyo. Sitaki kusema mengi sana, 
I will just read uh, a short speech ambayo inahusiana na siku ya maji leo. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to join Kenyans and the rest of the world to celebrate the that second edition of the World Water Day. You may be aware that World Water Day is an annual UN observance day that highlights the importance of fresh water. The day was first observed in 1993 and is used to advocate for sustainable management and development of fresh water resources. This year, we are delighted to celebrate this day with the people of Laikipia County at Naibor. We thought we would be at Naibor Primary School, but I think we are within the area. As the governor said, ilikuwa imepangwa kufanya wakule doldor, lakini mkatushauri, watu wa doldor tulienda huko, governor amawaelezea, tulikuwa tumefanya bohol, leo tukua perekea mifereji, tank, gutters, na ili ndio watu waache kupiga safari kuenda kwa kwa bohol wawe wanakunywa maji wakiwa karibu kwa hivyo like i may also want to mention because uh, the theme is uh, leveraging water for peace the national event was supposed to be held at elgeo malakwet and even our bigger team was there but you know what happened yesterday you may not have heard lakini bandits attacked a nearby area Actually, they attacked an ACC camp, and uh, those people even nafikiri kuna vitu ziripotea wakitoroka huko. So it's very important that we think about peace. We are joining the rest of the world to focus public attention on the critical water issues and also inform on the activities of the government through the Ministry of Water, Sanitation and Irrigation, and uh, Central Rift, Rift Valley Waterworks Development Agency is undertaking in our area of jurisdiction with the main focus on Laikipia County. And I have as chairman, I have been acting as the, I have been the acting director for Laikipia. Now, Ville and our youngest kid on the block, we want to really focus. And uh, with the governor, I'm sure we will go far. Kwa hivyo mtatuona zaidi, na tutasaidiana na county government uh, on even bigger projects, not just a bohol. The theme this year is leveraging water for peace. Uh, this theme is very timely and well aligned to the vision 2030, the UN, the UN Sustainable Development Goal number six, the bottom-up transformation agenda with a special reference to UN Decade for Water 2018 to 2028, all of which envisage universal access to water and reasonable sanitation. Nafikiri governor amerudia iyo mala nyingi na kasema hataki ya ibu ya watu kuenda kunywa maji na wanyama Anataka usitebe zaidi ya kilomita moja ukienda kutafuta maji. And that is all about universal, universal access uh, and, reasonable, uh, and reasonable sanitation by 2030. Ladies and gentlemen, water resources management is critical and sustainable water and sanitation service delivery. As you are aware, Water is a national resource. A national resource cannot be considered as other national resources like oil, gold, etc. Whereas it does not have high value, it may not be see or come the habu ama oil, but it is nevertheless of high, high socioeconomic value. Haina value kama hizo vitu zingine, but watoto hata wameimba hapa. Water is life. Kuna wale watu hata hawajawai yona mafuta, hata kama ni adhamani kuu, lakini bila maji huwezi ishi. Therefore, as we endeavor to achieve the right 
to clean and save water in adequate quantities. We need to recognize that water resources in Kenya are not evenly distributed. Interbasin transfers of water and therefore very important are therefore very important and it will be achieved while addressing conflict that inevitably arise from competing users through effective public participation and prudent sharing of water resources to equally benefit all. One of the reasons why these agencies were created by Water Act 2016, and uh, that was after the advent of devolution, is that some water that you use in Laikipia comes from Meru. That's another county. And it's very difficult maybe for counties to compromise sometimes. So the national government comes in and does those county, close county projects because it's a national resource and the national government can stand in if there is any conflict. Adoption of user-friendly and effective policy guidelines on the development of mechanism to ensure equitable distribution and sharing of water resources through effective regulation is equally critical in resources management. As an agency, we are also undertaking conservation and catchment protection activities such as tree planting to help restore reliable and sustainable water resources in water bodies and catchment areas to avoid siltation in the dams as well as pollution from agricultural activities. Yeah, you know, we have talked, uh, the, 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 the bottom-up transformation government talks about 15 billion trees, and we as an agency, we are, we are in full support, and I have a policy for, polit, for it. And I also want to say, somebody talked about the catchments. That is where, maybe in the last 30 or so years, we have greatly failed. We have encroached, if you look at the other side of Abadeas, or even this side, people have encroached where there are uh, gorges. Every gorge on, the, on a hill used to be a source of a river. But you would find people have encroached, and even all those gorges have dried up. So if we don't take care of our catchment, even the boreholes that we are talking about, I did a borehole sometimes, and the report was, it was getting water from the aquifer of Abadeas. That is on the other side. And that is like 30, 40 kilometers from the Abadea itself. So if we can't get water in the Abadeas, we will not even get water in those boreholes because we get water in the boreholes forms from the catchment of the Mount Kenya and then finds its way underground, and that's why you are able to drill here and get water. So if we destroy that catchment, even the boreholes, we forget them. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, other than for drinking, water is critical and abra in economic development, especially the big five, and we have talked of the beta, that is the bottom-up transformation agenda. And to address water challenges, the agency is undertaking quite a number of projects in Laikipia County, because we can only talk about Laikipia County. The list is big. We need to collaborate with the county government, and that's why I was telling you we need to come, maybe not in that big meeting, but we need to come first as Central Rift Valley so that we can discuss, put what we have on the table, and we can all push for funding for those projects. And I'm sure uh, the risk is big. I can't lead it here, but I want to share it with you when we have a courtesy call, because we want to have it in the next, at most, two weeks. Thank you very much. The your CEC talked about, uh, talked about how they've been assisted in, uh, in, 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 their, in the borehole in the, after acquiring the rig. One of the mandates of these agencies is to provide technical support to counties and build capacity. And I'm very happy to hear that our team has been central in you setting up your drilling rigs. And we are always there for you. I can assure you as chairman, 
uh, uh, through your CC, the governor, we are there to offer all technical support and uh, build capacity where need be. With those many remarks, Asante Sana for giving me the opportunity. I hope I haven't taken too long. I was also fearing the, the other side was getting impatient. So thank you very much. And I'm going to come and launch projects together with the governor. Asante Sana. Asante sana mgeni wetu na pia gavana wetu. Tuwapigia makofi mazuri na sisi tujipigia makofi ya kuwa vumilivu pia. Asante Your Excellency, tunakaribia kumaliza, tumebakisha mambo mawili peke yake. Kunazo certificates ziko hapa ambazo tutapeana kwa haraka sana. Alafu tutapata vote of thanks kutoka kwa uh, Water Resources Authority. So nitauliza kwa heshma waziri lea uh, pamoja na timi yako. Uh, His Excellency the Governor atatusaidia kupeana certificates hizi pamoja na mgeni wetu ili tuweze kufanya hivyo kwa haraka. So Your Excellency, I'll request that you join us. And then wale ambao tutaita, tutaita kwa haraka sana. Hawa wengi ni Your Excellency ni partners na wale ambao wametumika kuhakikisha kwamba sherehe imefanikiwa. Chairman also you can you can join. Chairman tafadhali join his excellency. Stop. Nitaomba WRA ndio watakao wa kwanza kupokea cheti wafuatwe na Nanyuki Rua na pia wafuatwe na Sirimon Rua. WRA Sub Basin Office Asaya nitaomba tuta songa kidogo tumalize hii alafu ufuate. Asante. Thank you so much WRA. Na nyuki rua. Na nyuki rua. Tufuatwe na Sirimon Rua. Sirimon Rua ufuate. Sirimon wameondoka tayari? Aya, asante. Kama Sirimon wameondoka nitauliza Timao Rua. Timao wako? Ata Timao wameondoka. Asante. Ngosishi Rua. Ngosishi, ama chairman saya utachukua kwa niyaba yao, utawapa. Utachukua ya ceremony timao na ngosishi. Fauna and flora, we are here. Fauna and flora, they've left. KWS, KWS are here. Naomba tu arakisha kidogo KWS. Watafuatwa na mkwe, mkwe puwako. Mkwep, pia wawa wameondoka. Baada ya hawa, nitauliza Red Cross. So this is for Kenya Wildlife Service. Timao Rua. Okay, so Your Excellency Timao Rua here. Lakini kwanza tutangoja tupeane Red Cross alafu Timao Rua. So Red Cross. Thank you so much. Shirika la Msalaba Mwekundu. Timao Rua. Thank you, sir. Kwa kurudi. Laikipia Wildlife Forum. LWF. How, okay. Asante. Thank you, Timao. How wanafuata ni Laikipia Wildlife Forum. SNV, partners kutoka SNV, asanti SNV hawako, listen, listen wako, listen pia wameondoka, NRT, they are not here, NEMA, buwana mutoro yuko, Nawasko, Nawasko wako, Ngarisha Mta, Ngarisha mta, okay. Ngarisha mta, habitat for humanity, habitat for humanity, waliondoka. Central Rift 
Waterworks. Chairman Yuko Apo, Your Excellency. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Chairman. Watafuatwa na tuaweza. Tuaweza. Alafu naibo primary. Alafu mwisho tutamaliza na naibo secondary. Asanteni sana tuaweza. Naibo primary. Maybe mwalimu na a few students mnaweza kuwakilisha naibo primary. Naibo primary. Mwalimu hayuko? Basi wanafunzi kujeni wale wako wanafunzi wachache waje. Kujeni wanafunzi wachache? Wachache tu hawa, basi hawa wametosha ili wawakilisha wale wengine. Oh, the teacher is here. Eh, eh. Yes. Hata ingawa wameacha girl child lakini ni sawa. Oh, yuko ni one, one third. Thank you. Naibo secondary. Shule ya upili ya naibo. Ili tuweze kumaliza. Na ni walike WRA watupe shukran za mwisho. Na maombi ya mwisho. Na kama vile ambavyo tulielezwa tusiondoke kuna chakula cha mchana kwa hivyo wanafunzi wote tutakaa upande mmoja alafu wazazi pia tutakaa upande mwingine tutaelekezwa hapo asante thank you so much your excellency asante ni sana kwa sasa naomba wra watupe vote of thanks habari zenu Habari za watoto? His Excellency the Governor, EGH, all protocols observed. Wacha ni shukuru Mungu for giving us this opportunity to be here tuongelele mambo ya maji na mambo ya usalama na mambo ya migogoro ile inaletangwa na maji. Uh, niseme community asanteni kwenu kukuja kuhudhuria huu mkutano. I want to thank all the participants, all our partners. Niseme asante sana kwa kuitika umuito and coming to support us as like keep here. And with all that, thank you very much and may God bless all of you as he blesses us. Asante. Umerudisha shukrani kwa daika chache sana asante. Your Excellency Pia, National Drought Management Authority pia walikuweko na tunapenda pia kuwashukuru asanteni sana NDMA. Naomba mchungaji aje ili aweze kutufungia kwa maombi na tusiondoke kama vile ambavyo tumeweleza iko chakula cha mchana. Karibu mchungaji. Ah tunataka kuweza kuomba kwa majina ni Washira Pasta na nimeokoka Yesu ni Bwana. So nataka tuweze kumshukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya kutupatia siku hiyo nzima na tumemaliza vyema. Tunakushukuru Mungu, tunasema ni asante. Sante kwa ajili ya kutujalia siku hii ya leo. Bwana ilipangwa lakini kwa uwezo wako imeweza kuwafikiana. Tunakushukuru kwa yote ambao umetuwezesha Mungu kwa ajili ya kuwa na viongozi wetu mahali hapa Mungu. Na kama vile katika neno lako linasema ya kwamba tuombeange viongozi wetu, pia tumekushukuru kwa ajili yao. Na wakati huu tunapoenda kuwasha na Mungu ili watu waende, tunaomba ukawape safari jema Mungu wanapoenda kurudi makwao na pia wenyeji wa hapa Mungu wanapokaa hapa Mungu, toomba amani yako Mungu. Tunakushukuru kwa ajili ya mambo yote ambayo imezungumziwa leo, maono yote ambayo imeelezewa leo Mungu, maana tunajua ya kwamba hayo yote yamepangwa na mwanadamu lakini wewe Mungu utaweza kutusaidia kuweza kutimiza. Tunakushukuru kwa ajili ya kutuwezesha siku hiyo ya leo na pia Mungu tukikusanyika siku nyingine sifa na utukufu utakuwa ni wako. Tunasema ni asante kwa yote umetuwezesha, asante kwa ajili ya viongozi wetu, asante sana kwa ajili ya wananchi wote na pia kwa ajili ya serikali yetu tukufu Mungu. Tunakushukuru na tunasema ni asante. Na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo Bwana tunaomba hata kuamini. Know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God and the fellowship of the spirit be with us now and forever more amen asanteni sana tumefika mwisho kwa hivyo viongozi wetu wakiondoka wengine wote wanafunzi tutaenda upande wa nyuma pale mahali ambapo lile gari la maji liko tutapangwa na walimu wetu ili tuweze kupata chakula asante kwa hivyo naomba tutulie na wazazi pia viongozi wakiondoka pia sisi tutabaki tutapangwa jinsi ambavyo takula asante <tos>